Yeah, All Chris, right. stretch. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. First with the team, we are back with <laughs> session. 88? 88? 88. 88, yes. Oh. I, holy crap. Welcome back to another wonderful session of the Black Aurora. Uh, this is session 88. I don't know I don't know when that happened. It, it feels like we were on 60 a week ago. Uh, but last we left off with this yet-to-be-named group still. Various names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys uh, were in the middle of Bartoon's third vault. Uh, this druidic themed sanctuary of rare relics uh, a dryad attendant some magical water a sword and a stone very idyllic fantasy type stuff including a number of incredibly powerful weapons that you knew were kind of like contraband in the nation of bardas that you are now unfortunately having to find yourself in uh as you guys began you discussed ways to get out of potential I don't know, execution, whatever would happen if you were found with these things. The solution that ended up being settled on was having Narkushan, a member of the Eternal Fane who serves Ziva Dona, take one of the powerful relics you found back to her as an offering to show that you were willing to, uh, to show deference to her and her rule uh, and not mention the other, you know, amazing, powerful relics you guys found. Um, it was agreed on. She took the uh, the sword de la Nairil, the dragon kindled edge, uh, so Mira could keep her fancy new bow, uh, understandably. <laughs> uh, she left with that. You guys decided to go and pay your old friend Sylben a visit, uh, since it's your only opportunity to do so in Bardust, as you don't really think you're going to have access to the vault again, and this is the only place Sivadona can't detect your teleportation uh, while within the pocket dimension. Um, so you guys took the opportunity to head back to the Dane already after a three month trip to get to Bardest. Yeah, went right back. <laughs> uh, where there was some questioning done as you found that Sylvan apparently is, was, kind of is, a simulacrum of Bartoon, the god of mystery and the unknown magic and all this other stuff from centuries ago. Uh, you found that Sylvan explained he is the reincarnation of a simulacrum that when simulacrums these special types of simulacrums die they kind of pass on their essence to another that will awaken to the memories of the previous versions at some point in their life and his awakening happened when his brother died and the souls got merged and there was a horrible explosion it was a big event in his life he also revealed number of other people around the world, other powerful arcanists and druids and such, have experienced similar awakenings, finding that they are the reincarnation of other simulacrums. And because you guys are trusted confidants of Sylben, he had no reason not to tell you the ones he knows. Not to say there might not be others out there, but he is aware of Headmaster Alteris Paleheart, of the Paleheart Academy being one. Uh, as well as Cortis, confirmed, of course, is you already knew that one, uh, who was apparently in a deep slumber some, somewhere in Gardas, in the, in the Cortis ruins. And Faulen, the High Inquisitor of the Calcephalian Chitin Church, that you knew was a, was a lich, was confirmed to be this horrible, evil lich that was siphoning power from Toloko Glanis. <laughs> uh, you also know now he's part of Bartoon, which is not great to know but it explains why that he's the only one in all of elkes to discover the power of being a lich um as far as you know at least <clears throat> it's only probably like one or two out there who knows it's not easy to become a lich there's a lot of sacrifice a lot of like rituals a lot of babies you got the slaughter it's a it's a whole thing it's a whole thing but uh with these revelations in hand uh you decided to head back especially with the admonishment from sylvan that you didn't stop the war when you had the chance to discuss it so Oops. kind of half of the reason for going there and uh uh the dm was tickled when that happened i mean you guys had a lot to talk about it makes sense you know you, you had other things on your mind who cares about a fictional war that you guys aren't even part of <laughs> Mm. We can just hop tree to tree, man. War won't even touch us, okay? It's true. Yeah, it's not your problem. You guys aren't at war. Nah. 
<laughs> Anyways, oh. uh, so that might, that might have to come up at some point in the future if you get another incredibly rare audience once in a lifetime opportunity with the Flame Chieftain of Steven, Steven or the Bard. Maybe people. when we it's complete her task. Maybe. Maybe then you can, you know, stop a war Maybe. if you have the time. If it fits in your busy schedule. But uh, you guys did mm. head back, uh, and upon leaving the vault, you were accosted by... Alas, Tirith of the Silent Hall, one of the five major claimers of the city, who was confirmed to be the creepy eye and um, eye, tongue and finger guy who was uh, following you guys. His his wreath of fingers and severed tongues taken from mages they've captured, um, as he is a mage hunter and was kind of keeping an eye on a couple of people in the party. He had been waiting for you guys to slip up and do something that was horribly illegal in Bardas, such as teleportation. And apparently he has some form of detection for it. And the transport via plants that opened the vault triggered it. And he managed to track you guys down to that spot and wait to see if something happened. He apparently missed Narkushan or let her go. Hard to say. You have to meet up with Narkushan to figure out what happened there. But he did wait for you guys specifically and engaged in combat because you guys wouldn't tell them that it was it was Naren. You wouldn't give that up because you're good people who don't stop wars, apparently. But um, <laughs> you, you did have a, uh, a, a, a big fight against one of the claimers. He had some horrible monstrosities, which, by the way, are uh, Matt Mercer creations. They're from uh, his <sighs> campaign. I, I, I was kind of thinking I was thinking Megan might recognize them from campaign, too. Uh, they were the Aeorian Nullifier and Aeorian mm. Reverser. Um, very, very horrifying monstrosities. But yeah. uh, I, I had to, uh, I had to incorporate them because they great. were very. I can't very wait cool. to see them animated. Oh God, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, but um, they're very powerful, and you guys managed to defeat them. Including killing Elastereth, not before he disrupted the magic in Mira's bow temporarily, uh, causing it to break. Uh, thankfully, with some quick thinking, help from the DM, uh, you managed to remember you had an art. <laughs> you had an item that had been bequeathed by your sister some time ago that can magically re re like rejuvenate and heal plants, which your bow is made from the parts of a living tree. Um, so you might need to find a few more of those gems eventually. Yeah. In case you ever run into it. But you're not going to run into Elastareth again. You killed him. I also... Except apparently want, he's a revenant. You know, to just have, like, a basic bitch longbow. Mm -hmm. That did kind of come up in the fight where it's like, do you just have a bow? No? Uh, that's oh, a man, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Like, a lot of your damage comes from just you. You could just use a normal bow and still be really good even with a normal bow, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, it's it's fine. I, I I felt bad in the moment, but it just, you did so much damage to him in one it, turn. It, it made sense. He had to disable you. He was thinking, like, I could disable the short one with the sword, or the or the pretty one with the double scimitar, but now nah, we're gonna go for the one that did, like, 85 damage in a round. A That's a problem. She pushed me back. She tripped me. She, she dealt you, half yeah, my health. You did like this combo on him. He needed to disable you. Yeah. So, but Not I would never, damage. but I would never permanently destroy this powerful artifact weapon that I had made specifically for you and just gave you an upgrade for from Sylvan. Mm -hmm. Or would Maybe I? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> upon defeating Lasterith, you guys. Uh, we're on your way out to find a room and rest for the evening because it had been a long day when the men who approached you last session before uh, from Caprillo decided to intervene and uh, insist you meet with their employer, uh, the other one of the other claimers, the one of the, the most powerful, Caprillo. Uh, he was uh, waiting for you at the arena and you joined him in uh, some wine and fruit and fine conversation and a uh, uh, good entertainment as you discovered where paizane has been throughout the day was apparently engaging in a uh, gladiatorial uh, challenge against his title as the champion by Abraxas the uh, the red dragonborn that recently came to uh, to Bardest uh, on behalf of um, Zivadona he was offered to the uh, the warmongers and uh, has 
apparently become the new champion as he did win against uh, Paizane. A very close match, but he did. Thank you, Mira. Uh, you guys, speaking of a close match and tournaments and such, uh, you guys discovered that Claimer Caprillo has a wide network of information, but he also has a need of a team for an upcoming tournament. The date of which was undetermined. Uh, it was it was found that he, they were waiting on him to find someone because they would never dare to disrespect him by starting without his prepared because he's he owns half the city you know you gotta kind of respect that um or something uh but he had a team that uh was exiled and he doesn't actually know that they're back from exile yet but you know, it's a whole thing um and they, they wouldn't really the psionic reapers wouldn't really probably agree anyways because half of them at least want to kill him so hard to say yeah but uh, you guys uh, decided to join this little tournament that would be occurring in a day or two from now. He said he'd uh, let the, the people know that he'd found a team, and so it would start up soon. As There's a kind of a time crunch on everything. You guys don't have weeks to spend in a town after already being three months on boat. Y you got to get going. So, last we left off. The party had joined Caprillo at his villa for an evening of rest and relaxation after agreeing to join the tournament uh, as his uh, sponsored team. In exchange, you guys have asked for a few things. I'll pull my thing up here. Um, you guys have asked for information on the Quetzalcoatl, the uh, celestial beast of this area. You have no idea where it is, but it's in Bardist somewhere. Uh, you asked for a crew uh, for the Crimson Lion, the ship that Pisin has, so you can go to the Karanis Isles. Uh, and you also asked for protection from Alastirith, because he's another claimer, and he's apparently a revenant who will continue to come back to life every day. And you're not sure if you guys are his priority, and he's going to keep hunting you down, but just knowing that he's out there doesn't feel warm and fuzzy. So, with those three things in mind, plus, you might take a share of the winning pot of 250,000 gold pieces from the tournament as a whole. Um... With all that squared away, you guys did ask for some loaned items. So, as we pick up here, I think we ended last time with the long rest finishing and you guys waking up in the morning. Was there anything you guys did want to accomplish during the night before we... Yep. Okay. I'd like to message Tolo via the rock. Okay, sending sure. Stone. Use your sending stone to Toloko. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Wait, what time is it? <laughs> Doesn't matter. What do you need? Yeah, got a great update on um, our good not friend. Um, You'll have to be more specific. There's a lot of those these days. Oh, I know. Um, fuck, what's his Fallon. Fallon. Yes. Information. No. Oh, that. that good not friend. Yes, the yes. lich bastard. Yes. Wonderful. Fallon. Yes. He's in the polls. The pole? Yes. Of, like, north. The north. You mean the gellums? Like, the, yes, the, 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 the caps? Yep. Of... yep, yep, those things. Son and he, he's a bitch. simulacrum of R2. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one second. I'm still processing. I bedtime. <laughs> Apo apologies. So, one thing in a moment before I talk about that insanity. Um, that makes sense, I suppose. As a lich, he wouldn't have to worry about the severe climate. It would be a prime place to hide a phylactery. I don't know why I hadn't considered that. I suppose I was thinking he'd be sequestered in some dungeon in the middle of a fortress or something, but... Hmm. Ice Interesting. Fortress. Ice fortress. Hmm. Yeah. A, a, a fortress in solitude from the rest of the world. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. That is interesting. <laughs> I wonder... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, well, that sounds Superman. Um, thank you, though. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> had to do it. Sorry. Uh, now, um, to 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 um to pick up on the other insane thing you said, yes. uh, a simulacrum of Bartoon. Correct. You mean a he's a clone of a god? Correct. Wonderful, wonderful. This just gets better and better. All right, well. And you're sure I shouldn't use the tome that makes me just as powerful as him? I'm sure. 
Right, cool. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Definitely still resisting that one. <laughs> no temptation whatsoever. Oh, <clears throat> mm. Okay, well, thank you for that. Yeah. That is some... Uh, may I ask how you came about this information? Because this is kind of crazy. We found another vault. Varchin's vault. Oh! Some more oh! Information. Oh, uh, do, uh, do you need me to translate anything? Um, no, th it's in Druidic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, the filthy yeah. dirt language. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, find it. I'm sure Naren, Naren can help you, I'm sure. I'm... Mm. Mm -hmm. Gods, why would he ever write it? It's such... All right, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the character for, like, a period is just the picture of a tree. Like, it's the drawing of a tree. Why wouldn't it no, be it's not acorn? cute. It's absurd. Exactly. I think the acorn's the karma. Oh. Yes. <laughs> most of... People don't know this. Most of Druidic is just pictures of bits of nature, like wingdings, if you know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is, does, it, it is canon now that Druidic yeah. is written in Wingdings. Wingdings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's a it's if a, a language. If only there was like an animated paperclip or something that could help you with <laughs> God. Alright, so mm. we've done a Superman reference and a Microsoft Word reference in the first <laughs> what is it? Yeah. Uh twenty minutes? Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah. This is gonna be a session for the ages. <clears throat> God, why? Oh, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm so sorry, okay. <laughs> oh, center yourself, Becky. Okay. <sighs> go shopping. <laughs> oh, then we're gonna go shop, I guess. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> thank you for the wonderful food. update. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will, um, I will look into the Gellums and figure out if there's anything we need to prepare for, I suppose if we... Oh, God, that's so much land to search. I'll I'll try to narrow down well, a location. He's probably and... in his Bartoon's vault, so I don't know if the journals you already had had additional information on. We, I, so we know where maybe two other vaults are. Oh. Um, well, you've goddess. learned a lot. Haven't you... Wait. <laughs> is, is my timing off? Because the boat should have arrived within like a couple days of now. How long have you been in Bardest already? A day? Good lord! I know you all are efficient, but this is a bit much! Do you learn all of this in a day? <laughs> yes! That's, that's impressive. I'm sorry, I know I sound mad, but it's just its just very impressive. And it makes me wonder about my own incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start you picking it up. You had a lich steal your magic. Ex excuses, why. excuses. I... Uh, you are in. You all are very inspiring. I just want to say that. Where are these other vaults? Um, Gardas. Of course. Yes. Makes you sense. know the giant. The, I don't. Know, there's a giant Cordis mine ruin. Yes, the the north. ruins. Yes, somewhere there. Uh, that also, also apparently makes Cordis sense. is asleep, and also a simulacrum of. Sure. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, of course. You, like, you you can't hear it through the Sending Stone, but I just feel like Peria can feel him lounging on a couch with his hand, arm over his wait, head, like... Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm, wait of course. Wait, wait, wait. I'll cast just... cry on him. Yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> he'll absolutely allow it in this moment. He just feels the scry and he's like, oh, whatever. And <laughs> you can just see him just draped over, like, a chaise lounge, just like, oh, of course, of course, it's a goddess, of course, he's a... Simulacrum. They're all simulacrums of gods. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, I don't know if you can get a hold of Headmaster Alteris. He probably has some good information. He seems super old. He's a simulacrum too, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not trying to deceive. <laughs> <laughs> I will reach out. I, I have spoken with Alteris before. We're actually on decent terms. All right. Well, this is very interesting. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for the update. Of course. 
always a pleasure seeing you, Toho. <laughs> I mean, talking That's to you. Always a pleasure. Oh, since, um, well, I know you said you've only been in, in Bardest for a day, but uh, how are war talks going with Zivadona? <laughs> well, they are ongoing. I, I imagine it's probably a, a very complicated discourse. Uh, to, to settle a war is not easy. No. But uh, your efforts are appreciated. By, and I'll, I will pass it along to Lord Dior that you are in talks with Zivadona to end the war currently. He will be thrilled. You can. Well, I'll send you a note. You know what? I'm gonna send a sending right now as soon as we finish this conversation. Because this is very important information. So we didn't want to press the subject of too many things at once. Understandable. So, you know, it hasn't. But of course, the war is the priority. We'll have to gain favor with her first. Right, right. So, of, you yes, know, we, didn't, no. we didn't want to bring it up just cold turkey, you know. Like, okay, I I can yeah. respect. She's probably a, a difficult person to uh, negotiate with to begin with. It's probably best to have something to offer her when you ask for something like yes. that. Yes, it hmm. is. So we are doing that. Oh, did you mention the whole becoming a god thing? That should probably do it. Nope, did not do it. Did the opposite. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. So that's weird. It didn't seem right in the moment to just <laughs> ask for one more thing. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I she does seem quite terrifying from the I I've met her once and it was not fun. Yeah. Yeah. So. Also, have you heard of Lady of the Sea in the Karanis Isles? Do you know anything about that? Lady of the Sea. Is there is this a boat or No, I think it's a person. I can lady. do some digging. Yes, that'd be great. Okay. Should I prioritize that over the lich, or is it sort of like a quest? Is this just a curiosity thing, or...? It's a it's a thing that's going to be happening in the nearish future. Then I will so. prioritize it. Okay. All right. All right, Thank well... You, Tolo. Of course, you're very welcome. And, and keep us updated on negotiations and everything. Of uh, course. <laughs> Never let that slip our mind. Of course, I. How could you? I, it's why you it's went exactly to Bardest. Of reason. course, I, I, I have no doubt in my mind you are working as hard as possible to resolve so the ongoing multi month war that has probably killed several thousand innocent lives and continues to do so every day that passes. And I know. know that your closest friends at risk. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sure Tyrion will be thrilled. The yes. war hero. Get <laughs> 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 it, cut off. Just, just rub it in. Just rub it in. Yes, I will. Because I can't believe you guys forgot about like the number two priority after becoming a god is stopping the fair, war. <laughs> it really did not feel right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I get After the conversation. I get it. I do. Yeah. But I'm glad that somebody brought it up. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I had to. I had to because I knew you would never forget. And you know what, Mira? In their defense, you are correct. It has actually been months since A Team because we did actually have so much subplot that legitimately, it, three, legitimately months. three months. So that is fair. That is fair. However, <laughs> however, that means the war's been going on for three months, and that's just more people dying out there on the front lines. Mm -hmm. I want you to go to the grieving widows and tell them we forgot we were on a boat trip. <laughs> we were lounging, we were cruising. <laughs> Got our mojitos. Uh. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I just... I, I, I love it, I love it. We have some spinny shanties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I gotta... So some like little girl on the front, like no. of, of a family on the front lines no. in the war torn Stop. city, who's just no. like, "Mommy, when is the war gonna be over?" It's okay, sweetie. Lord Dior said he's sending an elite <laughs> team to end the war, and it cuts to you guys just like, "I'm enjoying the Caribbean life," <laughs> and it's just like. <laughs> Turn around. I just. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> 
I got Anyways, the Anyways, I think I would I like to go out. shopping for arrows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, uh, uh, in the in, this is still thing. technically speaking the night. Yes. Yes. Uh, Peria sends her message. Q, you had something you wanted to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. To enjoy with Peria and ask her to try to message the darker side to see what's going on with her. Oh God. See you guys. Her just sitting there, fucking. She's hand in head. Uh, yes. She has, you know, <laughs> she is. Maybe you're gonna be our last team member. Okay, hold on. I have to see if I can even message Narkushan at this point oh, in time. That's a good question. It's been a long day. Uh, I have a slot if you I, can't. I can, and I will be not useless afterwards. Well, okay. we're going to sleep afterwards. That is true. It is. Maybe. This is before know, the, but the long rest. Still, I don't like being nothing. Mm, I, I get that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you want to message Narkushan? What would you like me to say, Q? Uh, wondering where she is and how, you know, the meeting with Zeta Nerva went and the offering of the item. Okay. And also, we need to speak to her about helping us possibly Tournament. live the tournament. Okay. That's a lot of things in 25 words, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of shorthand. Message, Message to yeah. Narkusha. Wing dings! Wing dings! Wing dings! <laughs> Acorn tree! Speak in druidic. It'll actually be much, much more concise. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Wing. Certain symbol. Certain things. Ocean now breeze. I have to make, now I need to make a druidic font that's literally just like yes. little symbols of. Anyways. <laughs> yep. Okay. You already did one language. It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Okay. To Narkashan. <clears throat> Still alive. Everything okay? In Caprillo's villa, guests, can you stop by tomorrow? Would love to chat. If not dead, please don't <laughs> be dead. Bye. There is a pause. And then even when like the spell picks up, it almost feels like a couple of like the the characters are taken up by like a pause, like they spoke like and we're like, ah, ah. <clears throat> I'm fine. <sighs> Caprillo's dangerous. Be careful. I will try to stop by tomorrow. And that's it. Hey. Well, she's not dead. She will oh. try to stop by. And if you need oh. to send more messages to her, go talk to Mira. I guess it's fine, thanks. She flops down on the bed like, Ugh, I'm done today. <laughs> My 17 hit points left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> hey, it was a day. I thought she would. Okay. All right. Is there anything you guys otherwise would do? Because you guys are in these these very nice. Uh, if you guys wanted to be communal, you could, but they do offer you enough rooms for you each to have your own room if you'd like. Uh, but they're very like lavish, um, plush, very um, high end compared to what you might find in the rest of Bardust. You think he may own all of the silk on the continent <laughs> at this point? Um, silk curtains. Uh, all, all the stuff that you know it doesn't. <laughs> she has a cavern. I don't know. I mean, I guess she could have some tapestries up in her Technically, she owns treasure all cave. of it. You know? Yeah. She got me there. She does own mm -hmm. all of it. Um, Do they have double bed rooms? Like double bed? Yes. It, yeah. If if you want, they can arrange uh, more communal quarters for you guys. Can I bump um, with Q? Yeah, absolutely. Q, can I bunk with you? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, cool. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I'll bunk with my sister. Yeah, I will I will stab um, anything that tries to get you in the middle of the night. Thanks, 
Paizane yeah. will have his own room, probably. He's the boy. Yep. <laughs> boy stays in his own room. <laughs> um, but you guys enjoy a long, restful night's sleep without any assassins trying to kill you in your sleep. Oh, Very nice. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's that... That's that... Five star service. They keep the assassins out. Um, That's check what you're them paying the for. That's what you're paying for. Is they check the, the luggage at the door and make sure no like, assassins get through. Um, all right. So in the morning, you guys can uh, complete a full rest. Yes. Uh, everyone who is murked will take a point of decay. Yep. All right. I'm marking it. What do you say? Two decay. One. 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 You guys are one. Okay. It's always been one. Not Where I. Yeah. That's yeah. why he said everybody was murked. <laughs> uh, I will. I will note, Peria. The last time you were murked, the progress was much quicker because yeah. you guys have been murked for three months now. It's been a while, and it's right? still at one. Hmm. Curious. Are very resistant. Super resistant. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, because there are less yeah. of the apostles. Apostles left. Hard to say. Can I do some kind Give of me an Arcana, arcana check. Bullshit? Yeah. Okay. As you it. wake up in the morning and you see it barely move, I think Peria does kind of consider that's very strange after how long you've had it. 24 oh, wait, Arcana? Can I guide, could I have guided myself before that? I did sure. roll already. Sure. Okay. I'll allow it. 26. Okay. 26 Arcana. You're not positive if it's that the decay in the world has gotten less. I mean, Compared to when you first had the Merc so, so long ago in Calcifel, Calcifel was a hotbed of Merc. Mm -hmm. There were, I think at one point, three apostles in one continent, in one kingdom, basically. It was you, Vivian, and, and Jamaat at one time. I, mm. No, I oh, was technically, after. Oh, you were, you were after. It was, was after two. them. Yeah. yeah. Um, but even still, there was a abundance of, of decay monsters, Merc monsters, that place. You do feel like not all Merc is equal. That some some variants exist in the disease. Like COVID. Uh, that, sure. Yes, it's like COVID. Damn it. Um, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's also possible, you theorize, that it's just you are stronger. You and your companions are stronger than you guys were back in Calcifil. You know, uh, whether it's the celestial power of the runes that the twins have, or Q's bizarre Arcus stuff, or the fact that you're a former apostle, now kind of a pact like, breaker situation. Where, where are my antibodies at? That, yeah. I think that's what you're realizing it might be the reason you guys are resisting it as much, is you guys have kind of become hyper-resilient to the Merc through repeated exposure <laughs> and divine interventions. <laughs> yeah. Essentially. Uh, but there is the one thing that I think, and this is something that we actually discussed before the session began, as a reminder that Peria does need to remember people who die with Merc yeah, immediately yeah. die Oof. for good. Yes, that's why I'm death warning these bitches. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so all those revivify spells and scrolls, if it's on one of the three people in the party that are Merc right now, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. No. We're Until you can find a cure one. to remove those. Yep. Speaking of which, Patty, I did have to use my scroll. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we can try to make another. Or you can. We have three weeks of time just laying around because I don't. <laughs> we, uh, we did the yes. scrolls. Are uh, it process. is back in the ocean all that time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> didn't Isn't have that... materials. So. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the uh, that was the way you got all those scrolls was the was the the time skip was, right? Uh, it was a week worth of time. No, it was between our trip Here. from Holy Land to Garden. Oh wow, yeah. those are old Here. scrolls then. Yeah, we've had them uh, for a while. Yeah. Wow. She will give the one she has to Mira as she can't actually cast it. So oh, that's true. I forgot. Does Talia uh -oh. still have one? Make, I, I can cast the spell. Then I, I will give three. the scroll to Peria since I am not murked. Okay. If 
if you guys... Oh, no, that's true. Because if Mira has the scroll and any of you guys stop it, she can't use it. Uh, can't use it. Yeah, right. it, yeah, it won't matter. It won't matter. I don't know if you wanted, like, an instant follower <laughs> scroll. <laughs> Life debt scroll. Well... That's <laughs> <laughs> for Nakashan. Yeah. <laughs> if we were in another continent, I would ask for yeah. it. Alright, well, funny. I'll hold on to it then. <laughs> Change it to say the deal. All you guys in your weird... Magic y stuff. <laughs> As I, I polished my. Yeah. I know. <laughs> As I polished back. my sword drinker. I haven't <laughs> used you in a while. I'm sorry, but I like my new one better. <laughs> oh, what are you. What are you. Uh... What are She's you doing? talking to her sword. I'm talking to my sword. Oh, spell drinker? I'm just like, I'm sorry I haven't used you in a while, but I like the other one a lot better. <gasps> you are sassing the I'm sassing sword it. of Kai. Medea, you oh, feel yeah. the sword gets cold. In your grasp. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Do you want me to use you uh, next time uh, in the tournament? The sword warms slightly. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Remember, I she awoke in it. Mm -hmm. You remember, <laughs> Zivadona spoke to the sword the last time. <laughs> it's weird. Mm -hmm. This has feelings. Okay. <laughs> She's just now, it's clicking yes. for her. There is a mild degree of sentience to the blade. Not like okay. Terra Sclave, but... Okay. I, I mean, I used to be a sword, so I kind of understand. Well, I suppose. True. In a uh, weird way, I kind of wanted to wield you. If, if Were you, though? Cool. 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 I know. cool. Were you? Were, were, is I that know. the canon we're going with? Where Q was the sword? Like, like sentient sword? Like... Mm -hmm. You said it was basically a it part of you. It was a part of you, yes, but you were never like a talking sword. <laughs> That's. I was like, did I forget some part of my own canon? Like, did I have it where Q was a sword? Uh, yeah, no, okay, uh, my, okay. Per, per my usual morning routine, I shall twin Gift of Alacrity on myself and Q. And wonderful. Also twin Death Ward on myself and Q. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> And then when I see Medea, give a uh, death ward. Yeah, you wake up. Good morning, Medea, on the shoulder, death yep. ward. <laughs> now, how long does that last? Oh, eight, eight hours. hours. <laughs> okay, so I just want you to keep in mind if it's the morning, that won't last till the evening. So just yep. keep in mind uh, the eight hour time frame. Bullshit Bardis, so. Maybe no, I'm we not should judging. figure out when the tournament is. Oh, it's going to be at night. We'll take a long. I mean, if we were yeah. Oh no. Um. Yeah. As you guys, as you guys wake up. Yeah. As you guys wake up and come downstairs to the like the central area of the villa, uh, you do find there are a number of servants who direct you to a large like banquet area. Um. There is like a large table of various prepared foods and drinks, and then there's a number of uh lounges, piles of pillows and 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 um like futon like like uh, uh furniture. Basically, essentially like. There's no table and chairs to sit around, but you grab whatever you'd like and just lounge wherever wherever you're near, next to a fountain or a little waterfall. Um, there is a, a, an extreme amount of wealth in this one room alone. And you do see a rather um, a portly red dragonborn in like a silken robe, like a, like a, almost like a bathrobe, uh, mm. lounging on like a pile of like a, a very large lush pillows with like a plate of uh, stacked, um, like, like slightly seared meats, uh, slices of fruit, uh, and another carafe of wine that he's, like, taking generous gulps of, and it's, like, what, seven in the morning? Mm. <laughs> Thank you. And as, uh, as you guys walk in, you hear, Ah, oh, welcome! Good morning! I hope you all slept well. Yes. Lovely. Mm. Well, help yourselves to some refreshments. I've, uh, already been, um, making preparations. You see, he's got, like, a number of papers on the floor around him, uh, like an ink quill, a couple of, like, rolled-up parchments. Uh, it looks like he's been, like, eating and doing some, like, um, like, paperwork of sorts. Um, and, uh, you see, like, a, a servant comes over, and he rolls one up and puts, like, a seal on it and hands it over and nods and takes it away. I've been, uh, making sure that you are all going to be entered and registered for the tournament in time. It will start on the morrow. Uh, <laughs> so I hope that's enough time for you to do your, um, 
shopping, as it were. Speaking of which, uh, he claps his hands and uh, a servant comes over. As you guys are getting yourselves your meals, uh, a servant comes to each of you. Uh, some of them have like a little like box on a pillow. Some of them have like a folded garment in their hands. Mm -hmm. um, for Q, uh, you are handed a cloak very similar to your own. It is a cloak of protection plus one. So it will give another Ooh. additional plus one to your AC while you're wearing it and a plus one to your saves. Okay. Uh, Mira, uh, you are uh, gifted a bundle of five wildfire arrows mm -hmm. and a uh, there is like a small box he opens with a beautiful amulet. An amulet of health. Ooh. Oh, that's so <laughs> 19. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh. Caria, you are handed a small box that is unclasped and is filled with glittering diamonds worth 500 gold pieces. 500? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Medea, a very tight, like, like this is this like a slight, like, lizard folk, like, female uh, servant with this heavy bundle of metal oh, let comes me help up you. and I hands you uh, a set of uh, rare variant warding armor. Oh, this is really nice. And she just sort of nods, and as you hand it, take it Thank off, you. she just steps away wordlessly. As requested, I have dipped into my personal treasury and found uh, fitting uh, loaned items. Obviously, the arrows are not on loan. Feel free to use those. I've already taken it as an expense. Same with the diamonds. You don't have to give those back. But uh, the cloak, the armor, and the amulet I will require at the end of the tournament. I'll try yeah. not to uh, mess it up too much. Mm. Uh, I, <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. It's going to get messy. Mm. All right. <laughs> it's not. So we'll be fine. Yes, yes. But I need you all in tip-top shape for the, um, the championship. <laughs> you all um, do think you can defeat the champion, correct? Oh, yeah. That, good, good. I don't want to invest all of this in... Uh, pipe dream so you see, like, as, he, as he finishes <laughs> that he kind of like looks each of you with like a hard look of can you fucking do this yeah. I mean we <laughs> put up against what's his face sun dragon when we came in so Dragon and dragons and all these other mm. beasties we'll yes. be fine <laughs> I have taken out all manner of creatures and people in the past same Good, good. I had a, a good feeling about you all. And you see, uh, at Paizan at this point comes down the stairs, uh, his, his mane matted, and he's kind of just like scratching his head. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I haven't slept on something that soft in a long, long time. So let's see. He just like goes over to the table and just kind of starts <laughs> grabbing like piles of food. Ah, uh, yes. A uh, resident to uh, former claim keepers graced us with his presence. So, Paizane, uh, since I am now on a position to speak to you as an equal, or perhaps even better, <laughs> I am curious. Where have you been? You were mysteriously absent for some time after becoming champion of the arena. The... <laughs> the pile-up of challenges was quite immense. <laughs> Care to explain that? And see, like, Pisces just over? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perlo, like, blinks. What do you mean, nah? <laughs> I'm not telling you anything. None of your business. Oh. I see. Very well. I suppose we don't have to be fully open with each other. As long as you win that tournament, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yes. Paizane yeah. just kind of shrugs, comes over and like fruit. sits near uh, wherever Perry and Q and Medea and Mira are at. Uh, just kind of like plops on the ground. So, uh, we thought about the sixth. Well, we were considering mm -hmm. Narkushan, but we need to um, talk to him. Mm hmm. So what's the plan for the day then after that? So we got a day to prepare for a tournament. 
Well, I suppose we're going to do some shopping for hopefully stuff and talk to our son. And if she can't be our six, then we're going to have to find a six. Cool. 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 Do we really need six, though, if Narcoshan is unavailable? It's not a requirement, but if we can find one, it's not a bad idea to have as many as we can. I guarantee you, if there are other claimers participating in this, they're going to have fully geared, prepared teams of six. These are uh, these are about more than just money. This is a reputation thing. Mm -hmm. right. well. Have you run into anyone in your journeys? That would be a good sixth. Uh, I've got four or five people in mind that could potentially fill the slot, but uh, yeah. we'll see if it comes Pretty to star. that. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I mean, I think we're covered regardless, mm. obviously. I think we'd love to have Narkushan if she would like to participate, but I think anyone that you recommend, Paizane, I'm sure would be more than capable. Yeah, I just, it's a matter of trust is all. <laughs> People in this place are hard to trust yeah. sometimes. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I just, uh... <sighs> it's like he keeps glancing over at Caprillo. Mm -hmm. Insights! Can I yeah, do by all means. That's what happened. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he didn't tell us, so we're kind of aware. Yeah. Yeah, Medea, you pick up, he's very mm -hmm. wary of Caprillo. Uh, mm -hmm. As the last time he had a team of elite warriors, that uh, were totally in his good graces. Uh, they suddenly, out of nowhere, got horribly betrayed and sent into mm -hmm. exile, and most of them murdered. Mm -hmm. And so, when Paizane learned that you guys agreed to join a tournament mm -hmm. under his flag, you can tell Paizane's definitely on the "I will kill him without a thought if he <laughs> tries to harm my friends" mentality. Mm -hmm. Nice. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, shopping. Uh, shopping. You guys enjoy a good oh, breakfast geez. at the Caprillo Villa. Uh, after which is finished, uh, Caprillo tells you that he is uh, going to spend the day finalizing the registration of your team. And then uh, tomorrow, be sure to, um, well, you can return tonight for another evening at the villa to spend the evening. And then in the morning, we shall all head to the Eternal Coliseum to begin the tournament. I'll also get uh, specific information for you today on how many teams are entering, uh, how many fights per day. The usual. It changes depending on the, the amount of interest that's generated. I do have a feeling, though, just a, a gut feeling this is going to be a very, very big one. Yes. Anyways. <laughs> oh, and I, I did already inform my agents of your, uh, your inquiries into the celestial beast that you're looking for. I've also already been fielding a few crew members that may be of use. Are you looking to take off from Port Orlin or Port Paratol? That will depend. Um, whichever's um. faster? Gentlemen. Well, that depends. Well, Port Paratol is the closest to the Karanis Isles. Uh, mm. In fact, I'll put you guys on the, the world yeah. map for yeah. Bardast. I don't know how long it takes us to Crimson. traverse. Lion oh, right, the ship in... is here. Yes, so here. that's sort of the tricky part, oh. is if you're taking Paizane's ship, you have to go from Port Orlin and travel mm -hmm. all the way around the continent. Oof. Either way, Oof. if you go that way too. Because the Karanis oh, Isles, as oh. you see on the map, are down this way. Mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. They're south of Bardust. Well, Port Paratol we... is the fastest, but you'd have to go there on foot first, and then yeah. get a new ship there. Go by the Scorchlands. I'm, I'm, yeah. pretty sure, I'm pretty sure walking on land would take longer than to go around the continent. No. No, 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 no. no. It takes forever. Because this is, a, this is a straight vertical line you that you can do in a few days. This is a multi-week journey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To get around the continent. Oh, that's... There's your scroll time. What? <laughs> Eight, 16, 24, so that's, that's a day. Every three squares by boat is a day. That's two days. Three days. Four. Five. 
about a week. It'll take a week by boat to get around the continent versus four days on foot to get to Port Paratol. All right, we're going to Scorchland area. (laughs) But if you're willing to keep the, if you're willing to spend the extra three days by boat, you get to use Pizing's ship is the alternative. You also Which didn't is... ask for a boat. You also didn't ask for a boat, so you'd either have to buy one, charter, charter one, or steal one. <laughs> yeah. You're working think... into pirates. Who knows? And Pyzane's boat is probably similarly equipped. Uh, the each. Well, actually, I actually they have. Uh, I have actually been getting some stats uh, prepared boat. for you know going to the pirates' place. Boat. Boat so. Combat. I don't have them finalized yet because we're going to get to that in like probably five sessions when the tournament's over yeah, or whatever. Um, but the idea is uh, there's primarily going to be like three three boat stats. There's going to be offense, defense, and like maneuverability slash speed. So uh, um, the ship you guys came here on has the highest offense. Absolutely. It's a, it's a monster hunting vessel, but probably one of the lowest speeds with like a moderate defense. Mm. Um, Pyzanes is like the basic medium in each category it's Mm -hmm. okay in all of them uh the queen of beasts which was freya's ship is going to have the highest defensive capabilities with some Mm -hmm. moderate speed and offense uh the midnight star which was ozyron's ship is the highest speed and maneuverability by far lowest defensive abilities moderate offensive so like there's reason to take different types of ships um, hmm. the, I will also know the reason I'm mentioning those is those are all up for grabs technically yeah. because they are owned by no one, uh, <laughs> and Pizane could potentially get you guys access to any one of those ships. Hmm. Get Freya. I ship. like the speed one. <laughs> I like we, defensive. We, went, we we went we went on speed on a ship. We were three months three months of uh, that, uh, was that was the, the slowest. slowest ship. Yeah, I know. It, I like fast. Because that was that was a ship iron banded with giant blades. It was built yeah. to be sturdy and it strong. It was built to go into the short route. Yes, exactly. It was <laughs> that ship was literally designed. Okay, it's going to be slow, but that means we can take the shortcut because we can kill all the big things along the way. Yeah. Freya ships actually probably a pretty good bet if you want to go for defensive, but it's it's like moderate speed and attack, but highest defense. It's got like the strongest I, reinforcements. I wrote getting... down the. Getting good. Getting boarded down, you know, sounds like something that likely. would be very likely in like, those yeah, isles. In the pirate we'll say, yeah. Freya's ship is a galleon, like a massive, oh. beautiful, majestic ship with like multiple like decks of cannons. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have like the harpoon gun or the giant blades. Like like Vex's ship was specifically for murder. Like it was monster <laughs> hunting. Freya's was like in case pirates attack. I've got like two decks. Two rows of 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 cannons. Um, yeah, essentially, <laughs> it's got decent maneuverability. It's got good defenses. Yeah, uh, that's Freya's what I'm leaning for. It's pretty good. Per- if we get a choice, that's same. <laughs> if we have a choice, otherwise, Pizane's is great. I will tell you, <laughs> Pizane is pretty confident with his current position as potentially the new claim chieftain. He could probably negotiate for any one of the ships, especially since. Either they're dead or defected. Siren is the only one alive, and he's not a clean keeper anymore. So, mm-hmm. you guys have options. I'll cre- I'll create an actual set uh, stat block for each ship that I can then give you guys. But that's later. You've that's... got like <laughs> over a month. Uh, yes, because you guys have a tournament arc <laughs> to do first. <laughs> Gives me time to finalize the pirates. Thank you. Um, Sucks to make it. Drive the ship down there while well, we're doing the day. That's actually what I was going to suggest is if you guys are willing to negotiate further with your benefactor, who knows, you could get someone to port the ship, basically, down to Port Paratol. Maybe if we went around, we'd be like, look, we're worth something. Drive our yeah. ship down there. Yeah. For if, us. You, if, you, if you try to renegotiate now, yeah. it might not go mm-hmm. so well. Yeah. <laughs> but once we've already but, gotten like halfway through it, put a pin in that. Yeah, put a pin uh, in that. Yeah, let's yeah. wait till we at least, I say wait, Perry, I said at least sure. till we go around. Yeah. Negotiate. Said that. That's... Politics. Anyways, yes, uh, back here. Um, 
So you guys uh, are informed that he's already looking into those things. He'll get you the information on the tournament, although it starts mm -hmm. tomorrow. So make sure to make your preparations mm -hmm. today. Um, regarding a last Tirith protection, uh, Caprillo will yeah, tell you. Uh, North domain. <laughs> he told. Well, he told you that um, a last Tirith is a revenant. Revenants typically take twenty-four hours to respawn to reappear okay, so you have until this evening oh, good. uh he recommends highly that by the evening time you are back at the villa mm -hmm. as i cannot protect you personally out in the bazaar i don't know if he's going to immediately come for you i don't know how much he hates you he's kind of a weirdo to be entirely honest uh but uh, just be back by uh, whatever time you killed him yesterday. It's just so <laughs> casually. Uh, whatever time you, you killed him yesterday, just be careful. So I'll, I'll just let you know. It was like 5 p.m. or so. Because it was like, it was, the sun was going down. Yes. It was evening, dusk. You have until about dusk tonight before Elastrith uh, reappears. Question. Will he like look the same or different or, or like, what should we expect? Uh, as far as I know, pretty much the same creepy fuck. <laughs> The same weird, creepy, wears digits and tongues like it's a fashion sense, and, no. you know, he's, he's, he's quite a character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of people I don't want to remember. Yes, the fingers <laughs> came from people. Yeah. No, no. Never mind. Yeah, we got <laughs> Good. Your shopping, your six, and your back. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Let's go. Okay, I got to go change. Hold on. <laughs> so you guys get prepared. You finish up your meal. Uh, you say your farewells with Caprillo. Uh, as you guys are heading out of the villa, um, you are offered a carriage of the coach, basically, to, like, to take you to the bazaar. on Because you guys are now under the sponsorship of the Warmongers. Mm. There's some protection. If you guys would like, or you can just walk. I feel That's like a, a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I get on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Medea, well, we're, we're not even discussing with the party. Medea walks out, sees a carriage, and goes, It's yes. for me. <laughs> just gets on. All right. Well, I guess being protected is good. This is a change from our normal feeling. Which bizarre we walk are going to? Uh, That's a good question. Where are you guys going? Carriage man. Uh, <laughs> Where's the best place to buy things? <laughs> well, uh, the uh, there's... um. God, there's like a, a I'm gonna say Noel driver, like like okay. a hyena man driver. Who like, right. He's he's not like dressed in fineries. He's just got like like a leather strap with like one pauldron and like a jagged greatsword over his back. <laughs> but he just kind of like turns around. What are you trying to get? <laughs> what do we want, guys? Um, oh. I guess magical items first. Magical items or potions? We need potions, don't we, guys? Possibly. Magical items. <laughs> just kind of like turns back with a grunt. Like, uh, <laughs> just like she hits the reins and just takes off. Um, as you guys uh, move through the city streets on this, this carriage uh, <laughs> led by <laughs> this gnarled knoll, um, <laughs> he stops near the Champion's Bazaar, which is this <laughs> uh, large bustling marketplace of like established buildings and shops not just tents and stalls like the usual bazaar you found down in uh port orland um and you see there are a number of like armed and and armored warriors and uh, uh pit fighters you imagine uh mm. mingling and, and discussing various things, comparing weapons coming in and out of shops it's very busy um you do note there is um different categories on the shops that are marked with what looks like uh one to four swords like if there's one sword then two then a third through the middle and then like four swords crossed what and they seem to like have this mark on each building and you see some people going to specific ones mm. um uh what does that mean i say mm. Uh, those are the tiers of the stores. Uh, different ones are for um, different token values. If you've mm -hmm. only done a couple of small matches in the arena, they don't recommend you go beyond one or two swords. You probably can't afford it. Mm -hmm. um, they go minor, medium, major, 
uh, master tier. Those are the four tiers. Will they accept gold? Yes, that's, that's, I should probably should have asked that before we start <laughs> <So> going. <laughs> you said you wanted magic. They got magic. I said you were the champion. Do you have anything you want to buy? I do have, have some tokens. <laughs> Some I figured, you know, Pine is, you know, at least get something good here if he wants it. Mm. What do you mean, guys? We've all been in the arena. We all have tokens. <clears throat> so he gets off the uh, the <laughs> cart and, like, Wait. just looks back at you like... Wait. Uh, hey. Yes. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Mateo, he's putting down. Wait. No more longer a princess. It's okay. While we're in the carriage, Medea, will you take the bag of holding, please? I trust your eyes more than mine. <laughs> Okay. Weird statements, but okay. <laughs> I'll uh, make sure to Just... keep my ear out. You have okay. both ears out, sister. I... Damn it, <laughs> Medea. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, Just kind of so, sometimes. <laughs> as you guys uh, get off the carriage, um, uh, the, the knoll kind of like goes and like parks off out of like the main road, puts the... the puts the carriage off in like the shade meter. somewhere it's a um, parking meter <laughs> he feeds the meter yeah. you know it's, it's like a creature all right i mean to say he's not just in the middle of the road okay he's pulled it aside so that people yeah. can still get by because it's a big fucking carriage Will he, he wait didn't, he didn't like, click click <laughs> he's waiting for you but he's not going to wait in the middle of the street because you guys right. didn't define how long to yep. wait oh. for so okay. he's just you see like he probably pulls off to the side <laughs> You see, he pulls out like a pipe and just starts lighting it and just waiting for you guys <laughs> off to the side. Um, yes. As you guys, yeah, basically. As you guys uh, walk away, Pyzane discreetly hands you guys some tokens. Uh, oh. Pyzane's going to divide his remaining tokens amongst you guys uh, and let you know don't. Don't. If anyone asks, if. Because everyone here is going to be like, I never saw you fight. When mm -hmm. you fight, just say you're part of. Of Pyzane's band. Pyzane's group. Pyzane's band. Pyzane's posse. No, 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 not that one. We're not gonna go that one. Pyzane's. Hold on. Uh... Say something. No. This is your idea. You have yeah, it is your <laughs> no, idea, you Medea. Say it. You say it, Medea. You have to say it. It's you your, have your, idea. Say it. your idea. You your say idea. Your idea. Say it. Say it. Say it. She wouldn't know. She's dumb. No. Can't think of anything. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about pie. I don't know about re, coffee. Re. Maybe we get into trouble a lot. Yes. Uh, yes. You hear a guy walking renegades? by those damn renegades from the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they just ping in Medea's head. <laughs> renegades, like that guy said. Oh, huh. it's actually not a bad name. <laughs> kind of like that. It's got a ring to it. A nice thing. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Good idea. Good idea. I just thought of it. I just see your Pisans renegades. I'm. I promise. I'm not trying to be like oh, I'm so great. It just they know me. They know so, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's kind of like everyone in Lola and Frontal Assault um, team. You know, everyone. But, in uh, everybody. Knows uh, everybody may add <laughs> five you. tokens to their character sheet. Um, uh, as he <laughs> had. Uh, he had twenty remaining. He divided them between you guys even. I think it's since it's a t uh, resource we never use, I'm going to mark it under EP on the character sheet because no one uses Electrum. Oh, Electrum. Yeah, okay. Electrum. We'll say we'll say it's in the Electrum oh, category. It's, electrum. Because it's, uh, it's technically between silver and gold, I think. It's supposed to be like D&D's own custom <sighs> yeah. uh, currency that nobody I know ever has used. Mm. Um, so, uh, I, it's just my idea. I think since it uh, never gets okay. used Fine. ever, we can use right, that that's a good idea. slot. Five pie. Hello, Hi, Mar uh, Marky <laughs> Gaming. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Oh my god. All right. Raiders are here. Oh my god. The shopping episode. We're raiding for the shopping. Great. <laughs> we did this before, haven't we? Great. <laughs> Thank you for the Great. shout out. Welcome. 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 I'm welcome. So Hello. happy to have people. This is a shopping segment of our D and D game. You happen to join during the just the most. <laughs> Prime viewer time. We're getting to our tournament though. <laughs> There's a tournament next session. Yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe at the end of this session, we'll see how much hey, time. Hey, Marty, thank you for the for the file. Oh Appreciate God! That. Okay, so you guys have been given by uh, your, your friend Heizane these five tokens, which he told you. These are uh, won by combatants in the arena. Uh, they are an alternative currency, and there's no direct gold to token you, ratio. For Each the merchant. As well. You you feel like there's some. There's got to be some sort of regulation of the prices, otherwise somebody could just say, this is just a hundred tokens, and it's absurd. Um, Python says he doesn't know it, who regulates them, but he suspects the fame. Letter CDM, um, thank you for the But uh, the different tiers, well. shops, the, the you, one, two, you. three, and four swords tiers, uh, reflects different pricing. I will just list off for you. Uh, minor tier, which is one sword, the things in that shop would take one to three tokens each. Medium tier is four to six. Major tier is seven to nine. And the master tier is things that cost 10 or more tokens individually each. Mm. Um, as far as getting typical mundane items such as potions and things, well, they're magical items, but typical average every day. Uh, if they have anything special, we we'll probably have a token requirement of a, of, of a like three or four or five or something. You might be able to get potions of healing for a token or something of that effect, but it's better to go to the Orland Bazaar where you can pay in gold. Mm. Um, Paizim will also explain this bazaar was where him and his father would get a lot of his supplies. A single token is enough for a week's worth of food for a pit fighter. Um, mm. So as long as you win a match a week, you can keep yourself fed is the idea. Mm. This is kind of the equivalent of like, I don't want to say food stamps because it's used for a lot more than just food, but it kind of is like a universal currency that pit fighters of the arena can use to sustain themselves without actually owning income. Huh. So it's interesting. Um, but uh, since you guys only have five tokens each, unless you guys wanted to pool your tokens together, uh, keep that in mind. Which shop do you guys want to check out first? Hmm. Uh, Mira, you're up. All right. Uh, all let's right, see. Right. I'm going to go to the second tier shop. Four to uh, six. Medium tier, four to six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Of course you did. All right. Uh, there are a number of items in the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have not created a incredibly comprehensive list of items, but I have chosen four or five items for each shop that are of particular note. If there's something in specific you're looking for, I can see if they'd have it, but primarily I'm going to go off of what I've written down. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> I will tell you, I will start from the lowest cost to the highest cost in this, which is the You can just six. skip to the arrow. No, you can read it off for the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. Read it for the rest of us, but it's amazing you chose mediums here first. <laughs> there is an Abjurer's Bangle Uncommon Variety, which is the 30 HP bangle, for four tokens. Oh. There is a Kill Skull Longbow of Dread, which is a... A uh, tribal longbow with a bear's skull on an end. It's a Griffin Saddlebag item for five tokens. There is a potion of stone giant strength for five tokens. Mm. And the most expensive current, like it's on, this this last item is like on like a shelf on a velvet pillow. It is a single glimmering golden phoenix arrow for six tokens. <laughs> That'll be a good day. <laughs> That's nice. Now it is six tokens and no. each of you were handed five so sister <laughs> <laughs> just note she's itching mira's um, itching yes does i imagine you are mira know what it does give me an arcana check good one sec good it's the 25 <laughs> is it oh my god i'm, I'm holy crap I'm the dice out. know to tell mira what arrows do <laughs> so i will let you know this is a rare arrow. This uh, arrow is fletched with phoenix feathers and is magically bound to a small quiver, which is uh, featured next to it. You have a plus one to attack and damage rolls made with that specific arrow. So it's like a plus one arrow. Once fired, the ammunition bursts into flames upon impact and deals fire damage instead of piercing. At the start of your next turn, the arrow leaves behind a small pile of ash and reappears in the quiver. It's an infinite use fire arrow fire plus one. Oh, so once you can, uh, once per round, uh, once per round you get arrow. one arrow that deals fire damage with a plus one to hit and damage, and then restocks next turn. It's in a constant state of like rebirth as a phoenix. Yeah, it has more. Oh, 
Oh, you can speak well, the ammunition's command word as a bonus action before firing it to set it ablaze. If you fire it the same turn, it deals an extra 1d6 fire damage. Uh, yeah, and uh, oh, it says it has a range of 30 feet. You can't shoot that more okay. than 30 feet away from you. Um, upon making the attack, it re re reappears in the quiver. You can store up to 10 other arrows in this small quiver, but can only have one phoenix arrow bound to it at a time. Okay. Uh, if the arrow is ever destroyed, it reappears in 24 hours. Okay. Uh, um, that yeah. extra d6, is that like a arrow. daily or...? No, it's a bonus action. You could do that every oh, round, but it takes okay. a bonus action. Okay, gotcha. So before you your fire it, you use your comes. bonus to ignite it in fire. Okay. Even still, it's once per round plus one. Plus Maybe one and a plus one d6 if you have your bonus economy. Yeah. You could always do a little extra. It's just a little extra damage, yeah. but it's, yeah. yeah. I, I'm just like patting my sister. You know, you do a lot of damage, right? You, you're you well, very painful well, I, with your arrow. Well, I, I know, but I, I, I can't choose that one right now. And that one's even, I have to wait till we leave to use that one. No, I'm saying just you in general. You're painful. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I know. Wait. <laughs> thank you. Uh, what? It's six, sister. I read the thing. It, it, well, just, uh, let's, let's talk about this. Um, you you have five, okay? You're, you're right. right. You're right. I have five, and what? you have you five, even... and Peria has five, and who has five. We're not Pizan getting that behind many you. arrows. <laughs> Pizan standing behind you. I've made a terrible mistake taking you here. You have, you have. <laughs> what does but the what if... bow do? My arcana oh, okay. that? Uh, yes, give me the an red. arcana. Um... It's higher. Hi. <laughs> okay. It is also a rare weapon. It's a rare mm. longbow. Uh, mm -hmm. The magic longbow is adorned with a bear skull, and there are like, also bear claws fixed to it. Uh, it holds up to four charges, and it gains a charge back whenever you reduce a small or larger creature to zero hit points. For each charge it has, a small etched line appears on the bear skull adorning it. Uh, when you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack using this weapon, you can expend uh, charges to deal a little extra damage, basically. Oh. Attunement? Damage. Uh, it is attunement, yeah. Okay. I had a feeling this would not be Amira specific. She, you've got plenty of them, but it is another bow. You could just you also mm -hmm. can use it without attuning to it as yeah. a bow, since you are looking well, for a new bow. The, 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 um, the thing I'm wondering, and I kind of just want a basic yeah. bow for, is I'm wondering yeah. if his ability works on just mundane shit. I almost think it wouldn't just work on I, a I, basic. I'll go, I'll go off of your two incredible arcana checks. You feel like he was specifically a magic hunter and is specifically able to disrupt enchanted items. Yeah. So you are correct. And a mundane weapon would be the best combat against Elastareth. Um, I will just uh, let you guys spend your tokens first. And if you guys if don't... If you have any left over. If you just have any left over, perhaps I will just owe you one. Have a, just a question for the DM. Can we just sure. get that list that you already have? Okay, fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll copy over the entire list for all shops as well. Uh, there, the shop's inventory does change often, so there, you may, may be worth checking after each round of the tournament to see if okay. anything's changed. But I will put it into resources for you. you well. <laughs> uh, one sec. There you go. Oh, all right. all right. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys can go around each of the shops and find all these things. Um, oh, I know, I know what that one does. <laughs> Not because I have it planned as gear for my players. <clears throat> Mira. Yes. Interesting. What? Yeah, I was gonna say that's the first thing I saw. Uh, it is a great formed from the bones ah. of a T Rex, that's basically. <laughs> There are confirmed dinosaurs in the jungles south in Bardust. It is a thing. Uh, it's also a griffin saddlebag weapon, and it looks kind of goofy, but also kind of cool. <laughs> um, of the cold fire phoenix. That sounds spicy. Oh, yes, true. <sighs> what? Oh, uh, uh, never mind. I thought it was. I thought it was a belt for a second. I thought it was oh. a belt of the fire giants. No, no, no. <laughs> each, shop, each shop has an increasing tier of potions of yeah. the giant strength. 
Uh, but okay. no, they do not seem to have belts in them at this time. Dune Duster oh, that's sounds nice. cool. The Dune Duster is a uh, like a large cloak. It looks like. Oh, those are cool. Yeah. I, I mystery gem. Ooh. What's the mystery gem look it's like? It's a mastery gem. Oh. And it is Ooh. a uh, a that? red. <laughs> it is a deep ruby. Uh, deep red ruby. Uh, with what well, looks like some sort of like. As if when the light hits it, instead of it just like a shimmer, it feels like there's like a liquid inside that's constantly moving. Nah, I'll never say, Mira. It's fine. You'll find out soon, it, maybe. That one also in the master tier shop is under lock and key in like <laughs> a case. Yeah, it makes sense. And it's mm -hmm. right next to the, the, the register, basically, where the shop owner is. Like, he leans over it to take you. are like, what can I help you with with one arm around <laughs> it? <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, <laughs> Oh. If you guys would like to do any checks or inquire about any of them, please let me know. Random question about, I guess in the tournament that we're going to participate in, would we get tokens? Uh, yes. Uh, <gasps> there is a chance for the party to earn their own tokens in the upcoming oh. tournament. I'm gonna save my tokens. Yeah, I feel oh. kind. I feel kind of bad, you know, it taking Paizane's hard-earned work. Mm, I don't. Wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course you don't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm. um, I'm not an abjurist. Oh, I've seen mm. uh, the bandolier's that... cool. I've seen that one before. It's a cool one. Yeah, it's, I, it's it, if it's only if you really don't have like bonus economy yeah, already. Yeah, you don't have any bonus. But it, it's action. extra damage. Yeah, pretty cool. Mm. Um, Are all the shops primarily focused on like combat magic items? Yes. A hundred percent. Most of these are going to be things you feel like people don't buy these to go out and and just live their lives. They buy these for the arena. Fair. This this is mm -hmm. people who have because you can only really buy these With by participating yeah. in the arena. Mm -hmm. um, is there any like magic user shop? I know it's blasphemous, <laughs> but I'm gonna uh, ask. Not uh, <laughs> who are you asking? Pizane. Pizane. Not really in the bazaar as much. Um, probably in the in in well, not this bazaar. Orlin Bazaar would have the something. Bizarre. Yes, the other one, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. less arena focused one. Okay. I'm gonna. I have nothing to buy here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> um, considering contingency, I don't know if there's contingency bans around, but I'm assuming uh, it would be in with potions and other other mundane uh the only contingency band you guys have ever found was in another dimension in okay. uh, naria's horde okay i just wanted to know if it was even possible to get at even get that okay maybe but it's not something you find on every shelf yeah. wow. that might be something you'd have to like have enchanted so uh, the only thing you do want here is 10 tokens so uh, yeah <laughs> Just <laughs> the things that I want are the. I don't see anything that the I. The arrow and the oil of sharpness. Oil of sharpness is real good. It's so good. It's super good. It's it just, sounds so basic, even if, but it's even if it's already magical, it adds a plus three to hit and damage for the next hour, or Ooh. five pieces of ammunition. Yeah, it's real strong. Wait, oil of sharpness. Yes. Oil of sharpness. This clear gelatinous oil sparkles with tiny, ultra thin silver shards. The oil can coat one slashing or piercing weapon, or up to five <laughs> pieces of slashing or piercing ammunition. Applying it takes one minute. For one hour, the coated item is magical and has a plus three to hit and damage. Oh. Yes, right. it's it really nice. like good. Q would get. <laughs> it's definitely like or the, you feel like the mastery tier shop is specifically for people who want to become champion, who want to like win in the arena. Like, and that's something you guys might have to keep in mind is you might be fighting veterans of the arena tomorrow who have had access to these kinds of items. Yeah. So you might see somebody walking up to the arena, splashing something on their sword. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get that for Q. Well, I think we should. Wait. I will also say, because part of this is, it would be visual based, mm. Peria, I think you particularly would have the, cl the clearest eye for this. Okay. Can you, if you'd like, yeah. either a perception or arcana? Ooh. Okay. 
am I aware of this happening? Uh, it's it's mostly, I want to see if you recognize one of the items. The phoenix looks like, I was going to ask about that. The phoenix. We can talk thing, about that in a but, sec. This right. is something else. Arcana. 22. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is because it's a completely custom homebrew thing that I'm adding on. Uh, and it would be something you would recognize. The Merchant's Expanded Satchel. Oh. It is this big. And it looks like it has like a little clasp. And uh, it's in its own case, but it's kind of off to the side, tucked away for some reason. Um, and it looks like it's made of wood. It's an expansion for the thing! Okay. I'll go look at it. What is okay. It? Uh, with a 22 Arcana and looking and, and inspecting it clearly, you feel confident this looks identical to the little satchel on your wind-up merchant. It's more oh. items for the wind up merchant. Oh Just my god. Oh, satchel yeah, we're getting that. nine tokens. We're getting that. I'll, I'll pay all mine. I don't care. <laughs> I had to bring it up because it, it, it just looks like a bag in the list, but you would see it and something you've used every day is oh, this little wind up merchant. I feel like Perry would recognize what looks like it's supposed to go on the other shoulder because like he's got oh, one little messenger god. back here. That's it would strap cute. around the other side of the merchant. Accessories! Oh. I love it. <laughs> I'll, I'll use like four or five of mine. I don't care. Okay. Are you guys buying it? I don't know. That's something to, but... that'll help us indefinitely. Can, can we time. inquire what it, what kind of things what it other, has? In? What expanded items? So you go, you go to the shop provide. owner yeah. uh, of the the what is it major tier? And he's like, yeah. honestly, I don't know what the hell that thing is. It was supposed to come as a set piece for something, and the other thing never arrived. I got it up there in case some sucker comes along and buys it. You didn't hear that, but you know, it, it, I don't. I, I have no idea. It might be that sucker, but okay. <laughs> Why is it in the major tier if it is just for a sucker? I don't price them. The mm. fane does. Oh. It hasn't sold in months, so if you want it. Go for it. Mm, if it's just, you know, sit, if it's just down. sitting there, yeah. maybe someone As will As you buy suggest, it. like, take it down. He kind of, like, looks to the side. He's like, okay, all right. Uh, he, like, looks around. You see, like, there's, like, a person in Fane garb, like, off to the side, like, kind of, like, looking around the shop. Keep your voice down. Okay. You can't negotiate these prices. Oh, no, you can't. But it looks like you want to. Mm. I really want to get it off my shelf because it's taking up one of my slots. Right. Mm. So... How much you got? Uh, well, we have. Wait, hold on. Where? Let me go back. I gotta find resources. We I'm each. Right we each it have was nine, five, right? technically. No, it's nine worth. It's it was nine. Nine, nine tokens. It would take two of you basically to combine yeah. tokens. I really want that other amulet, but okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, that would take uh, all of you to combine oh, your tokens. But that's like a later. Me. That's like after oh, yeah, we win you can things. Get later. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I already forgot what it was. We each have five. No, I know. I know how much we have, how much it is. It's nine. It's just shy of double what you have. Wow. Give me seven and a thousand gold. Give me a persuasion check with advantage. Uh, Swing in the thousand gold. Not only getting it off his shelf, but, uh,. <laughs> mm. All right, hold on one one sec. He's like, "Hey, stop, thief!" And like points out the door. You see the Fane yeah. member like turns. Like, that guy just swept something from the shelf. Are you gonna stop him? Like, <sighs> the Fane member rolls her eyes and just runs out the door. Just watch as Narkishan. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. he's like <laughs> handing like past. All right. gold, gold. Here's here's the thousand gold. Here's okay. my five tokens. Does someone want to volunteer? Too? Anyone throwing two in? I will. Okay. You throw it on two tokens, uh, and he's and he. You see, he hands you a small key, yeah. and it, un it unlocks the case. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> with a little bit of, of bribery and uh, diplomacy, uh, <laughs> second day in Bardus already breaking another law. I love Yay! it. I love it. Um, I will remove it from the uh, the list in my notes because it's no longer available. But I will add. 
Hey. To the wind up merchant handout, oh. I will uh, put on the expanded selection. So now, yes, whenever yeah. you roll, you're going to roll 3d20 instead of 3d12. Ooh, we like the 20s. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. I will put on. Boop. There we go. Uh, uh, <sighs> Ooh, dress of Dinah. Dinah. Mm -hmm, Ooh, a drift mm -hmm, globe. Mm -hmm. Wait, where is it? I didn't see it. Scroll down. It's in, it's in right over there. Scroll down. Oh, okay. Made a forced. Ooh. Ooh, what? Very fires. Nice. Oh, we get to just. If you roll oh. a nat 20, you get to choose any of the other items. Oh, nope. oh my god. Fucking nice. fortress. Oh, fucking fortress. Yes. Oh. It's technically only a rare item. I know, but there's some real shenanigans you can do with that. Item. But it only lasts a day, so yes. Yes. The, the, all these items are a temporary. Like you're yeah. renting it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's shenanigans you can do with a, a movable rod or yes, a yes. thing. Like that's the point of this item. Is it's just fun. Yeah. Time of thing. Really. Hmm. Oh boy. Yes. Hurry up, so, uh, as you nice. you strap this other bag wow. over your little wind up merchant, the little like the little eyes like yeah. glow slightly, and like he kind of like grows like an inch, <laughs> and it, it just sort of like feels like it expands its inventory. <laughs> A couple of other little like things appear in the satchels as the wind up merchant has been upgraded. This strange oh, item uh, that you found a long time ago. I hear the ching ching ching. I will ching, also ching. mark the right. wondrous merchant. Is, the wind, wind up merchant is now a very rare category item. Ooh. Oh, yeah. In case you ever choose to resale it, I doubt it. No. But no. cool. No. After we retire. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So cool. that was a good purchase of seven tokens. Yay. Okay. So uh, is anyone going to use any of their remaining? Mm -hmm tokens at this time. I mean, I kind of want to see where the potions and everything are. Sister, what are you whistler whistling for? Well, the oh, like, n normal potions would other pretty bizarre. would be a better option at the other bazaar because mm -hmm. from a yeah. sheer value standpoint, you'd be actually wasting money here because each... Yeah. I would say one arena token is worth considerable more gold mm. than uh, than like you would actually spend here. Okay. Uh, well, I'll save my other, what, Three uh, are else. you sure you can't spare just me one? one? Just, just one. Uh, just, 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 just look at it. Isn't it beautiful? <sighs> just one hand on your cheek. Just look at it. Look at it. Okay, I can't say no to you and your puppy dog guys. <sighs> and your crippling one. addiction to arrows. Arrows, I enable do, you. you. You do, and I love you for it. Oh, yeah. that's I healthy. Know. It is. Just... <laughs> All right, so very well. With your one token taken, you have six. Uh, you go to the, the merchant at the medium tier. You hand him the tokens. He hands you a small key, which unlocks the case to the phoenix arrow. I will add it as a handout. One mm -hmm. moment. I it's... love how you had the D&D &D token just ready. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have two <laughs> sitting... Me. I have many sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one second. Yeah. Let me grab I just that. have die that aren't used, and I'm sad. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if y'all want dice cams, I'll make you one. Yeah, AJ's I'm chose good. not to use his, but, you know, I don't mind if you guys want to. <sighs> but unfortunately, the reason, and the reason I understand why AJ's not using his, it's a lot easier in roll 20 with all the numbers. I like the quick math. <laughs> Yeah. Especially I like the fact it... that it rolls more twenties than I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it so. sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. All right, I'll put this into here. Yeah. Especially for AJ. What? Yeah. That fight with what? The... You roll a lot more crits in this than you do in person. Yes, yes I do. Okay. <laughs> Throw this into your one fight would have been a lot different so. on your own. I have added the uh, <laughs> I've added the handout, Chris Phoenix Arrow. Hmm. Instant fortress. I want to see what all these things do. I love oh, the wine. You haven't rolled it today. Keep that in I mind. Know I haven't. We haven't. I was gonna wait so. until we got into the carriage. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is there anyone Try. else doing any other shopping here? I just want to inquire what the amulet of the cold fire Phoenix might be uh 
Yes. It's my motif, so. It kind of is. It's this beautiful blue pendant in the shape of a phoenix clutching a shimmering blue orb. Um, he will explain that it... it uh... <laughs> well, it keeps you cool in the hot weather. Um, <laughs> probably could take a hit from a, a white dragon. Um, oh, also, if you die, you don't. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My one character had that. Noted. Uh, Not in the one shot, character. yeah. 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 So, uh, I'll just. You, you have enough for Cold resistance. Cold resistance. Cold uh, resistance. And creatures within ten feet of you, cold resistance. It kind of gives off like a frigid aura. Um, if you die, or if you're just zero hit points while wearing it, you are dropped to one hit point and gain twenty-five temp. Ooh. Um. And if a creature hits you with a melee attack while you have those temp hit points, they take 25 cold damage oh, in return. Oh, it's like an armor of Agathis. And it's once per three days. It has a three-day recharge. Oh, okay. All right. Very similar but, to my breastplate, so... Very similar to your breastplate, yeah. But cold variant, basically. Yeah. Cool. All right. It's a very uh, powerful one. Yeah. Well, just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. I know you listed, like, all the... the magical items. Are there really, like, more mundane stuff, like, non-magical stuff in here? Oh, sure. There's plenty of, of like, forged weapons, exotic weapons. Uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for? The other item that you has been looking for for a while. Not here. Okay. As I said, this place is much more for a... Why would that be here? I need you to explain to me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Some players might want to, you know... The, there's no clothes. There's no. This is nothing She's here. Nothing in this place is for fashion. You feel immediately everything here is for function and form. Okay. Yeah, it's not very really pretty fied. Question yes. for the DM. Um, how does the Phoenix Arrow interact with me changing things to force damage? Would it still it give the plus one to hit and damage, or does so it... I well, I think I need to look at your bow. I think we've had this conversation before because the force damage is where the arrow. You don't fire a normal arrow to do the force damage. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So you couldn't turn it into a force okay. arrow. Okay. Because the whole point of it is, uh, yes. As a free action, arrows from this can be destroyed once fired, turning into a projectile of pure energy instead. Yes. In the Phoenix Arrows case, it would be destroyed, and as per the d description of the arrow, it would return to your your quiver. So, oh, okay. I would say you can't turn it into force, because also, which damage mm -hmm. would overwrite which? The fire or the force? That's what, yeah, that's why I'm so like, how that... you can't force this one. Okay. <laughs> you have to just normally, shoot. you can't force it. Just... <laughs> Jokes it's, today are on fire. It's, this has been a punny <laughs> episode, I'll tell you yeah. that. This is uh this is a when bonus actions are free arrow. Mm -hmm. Yes. When bonus actions are free, I mean, this even is... without well even without bonus actions, you yeah, can still so shoot good. it and get yeah. the plus one to damage and uh, it deals fire damage. Yeah. It... The bonus just ignites it and does the D6. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. And it's reusable. It's also, yeah, it a free arrow. I mean, you have, obviously, a bow that can just, like, turn and create force arrows. And yeah, shit. yeah. But, um, and mm. I think with your class, you can create arrows, so. Yeah, I... This is much, this arrow is definitely much more for, like, somebody who's going to the arena and can't afford to bring a quiver of a hundred arrows with them. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, like, yeah, it, it's definitely... I'm just thinking mechanically and numbers. And right. Head. The numbers are flying past my head. No, um, yeah. <laughs> Where it's like I have a, it'll give me a, a better minimum, but if I have a bonus action, it's better than the force one overall. Right. So, anyways, sorry. Okay. No, it's fine. If uh, there's probably nothing that Medea ca it catches her eye, she's just like, no, nope, I only have two left anyway. So <laughs> okay. I'm ready to spend gold elsewhere. <laughs> gold. <laughs> Go for gold. Uh, sister, are you done, Pisces? Oh yes, you, I am. I'm good for now. You, you don't want that oil? I can't afford that oil. How much is that oil? Ten. 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 Oh. 
And and it's only and it's for one use. One right? use. I, yeah. Okay, that's a little steep. I think mm -hmm. that is like um, if we make it to the final round or something, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomorrow we come back with more tokens. Maybe. How many tokens do you get per fight, Faizane? Very. Is it just one. No, no, no. It, it, so. I don't know how many rounds this tournament's going to be. It depends on how many teams join. I don't imagine that many, but mm -hmm. uh, typically it depends on... So, for example, if you're in the third round of a tournament, you'll probably get three or four tokens for winning. Oh. First okay. round, probably one or two tokens. Right. Additional tokens may be also offered during special tournaments where the Claim Chieftain herself views them, although those very rarely happen. She doesn't watch most of the tournaments. <laughs> Uh, but if she if she does watch a round and she finds your performance particularly favorable, enjoyable, or otherwise impressive, she may award additional tokens as uh, honor upon you. I've received my fair share in the past. <clears throat> oh. Those uh, those last twenty that I just divided out were, um, you know, last I had. But uh, it's okay. I don't. No, no, no. I don't really need anything. Uh, <laughs> Just, uh, I could have gotten something, but no, <laughs> no, of course, of course. I, you know, you guys need it more than I do, really. Uh, not that you're weak, that's not what I meant. I just meant, um, <laughs> I, I've had plenty of access to it, and that you're new here. I wanted you to enjoy yourself and see the city the way I've seen it growing up, and um, you know, thank you, <clears throat> Um, I know this place can be, um, a lot, but it is my home, so I I do still have some fond memories, and I hope you guys don't hate it here, even though you've already been attacked by a dragon, uh, a, a magic racist, uh, another dragon, and uh, you've now been taken under the wing of a traitorous dragon born. I know it's not been the greatest first impression. <laughs> not necessarily, but I've had worse no. homecoming. I guess. <laughs> Sorry, but this place is awesome. Well, it's um, nice. You know, that doesn't surprise right. me, Q. I, I had a feeling you'd like it. <laughs> uh, as, as you guys are talking, mm -hmm. uh, another voice uh, pipes in. I had a feeling she'd like it, too. As approaching from the street is a Narcushan. Hey. Oh, nice. I slipped by the villa and found that none of you were there. The attendant told me you were shopping oh, for the day. Right. All oh, right. Uh, said they'd wait for her, right? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, I should yeah. have told you where we were. <laughs> yes, you probably should have, but it's fine. It's not a very hard guess. You said you needed to talk. Yeah. Step aside. Each off away from the cart and from the the populace, the the hub and the hubble and bubble. And, what not? Um, yes. uh, as you guys step aside to like a quiet part of the bazaar, um, she will explain. When I returned to the claim chieftain with um, the sword, she was hard to read. There was a part of her that was pleased, I could tell. She was also mm -hmm. aware that you had used some form of teleportation magic to enter somewhere. She had a lot of questions I tried to answer to the best of my ability. I told her that you found there was a riddle within the vault that led to a small chamber with this sword and an explanation of what it was uh, to try and make it sound like this was just a single relic hidden away. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she bought it. She was quiet for a long time after that. She told me that you would be rewarded for your loyalty. And then she told me to leave. And I never felt more scared for my life in my life. I was wow. fairly sure she was waiting for me to turn my back and then kill me. But she didn't. She did look at the sword for a very long time. And uh, I don't know. I, I, think, I think it was a good move. I think we are in the clear. Um, I'm not exiled or murdered yet <laughs> so that's good that is always what's, a good sign like to keep you alive now, what's yeah. this about caprillo why are you why are you spending the evening with caprillo oh so we're entering into the tournament and we wanted to what? know 
if you would why? be on our team. Because... No, no, you can't just... No, why? I thought you guys were here for... You guys had these crazy machinations of finding yes, and the, gods and this is or something. Get yes, to it. but we need a ship. We don't have a ship. Mm -hmm. we, we need, need a crew. crew. We don't have a, we don't have a, a crew. heading for. Ah, we, the... we don't have a lot of resources in these lands. And, and Caprio has find something I'm looking for. Which is in these lands. Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. A pretzel? After a least. The, oh, right, the beast. Right, yes. Like, when you... I remember... I remember Alarin. Yes. From... Yes. I have to find it or I'll die. Yeah, I remember. We've talked about... We we had a three-month boat trip. I know you, Q. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That makes sense. You do so this to do that, to do that, so to just, do that. Let me, let me just make sure you're using Caprillo. You're not letting him use you. You're getting something out of this, right? Yes. 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 We know that he's... No, none of the claimers are. They're all horrible people. He has really How nice. Get to their... He has good taste, though. I will say, in in furniture. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, too, is yeah, sorry, is uh, some info we were looking for <laughs> without realizing it. That's good, I suppose. Okay, fine. I I heard about mm -hmm. the tournament, but I heard it was just between the claimers. I didn't think it, it, I would. Mm. That's why he wanted to talk to us originally. Right, right. No, that makes sense. You all have a reputation in town already. Mm -hmm. Apparently he sold out his own group. <laughs> he what? Pythian's like, yeah, <laughs> um... <laughs> Pythian's like, so uh, you must be Narcashon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I suppose we haven't really been introduced. Um... I obviously am very familiar with you, former claim keeper, and your companions have told me a great deal about you personally. Uh, yes, I am Narkushan of the Fane. Um, what's this about you aligning with him and knowing that he betrayed someone? And Pison's like, uh, so uh, you know I was in exile? Like, yes, I've heard. Right, uh, I was kind of with his former group that uh, he betrayed and got exiled. Lovely. Wonderful. I'm so glad you're under his banner, then. So are you all going to just put the knife in your own backs, or are you waiting for him to tenderly place it there I after mean, the tournament's over? I mean, it seems better than the rat or the mage hater. Mm-hmm. The there finger are... guy. <laughs> Cecil is considering. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Did you see him on the way out of your... Of the shrine? Yeah, that is a good question. Um, uh, Alice... Alastrith? I Alastrith. no, I didn't see Alastrith no. on the way out. Why? Because she attacked us when we came out. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you should let me this. Shadow. You've been attacked by a claimer. Oh yeah. Yeah, we killed him. Well. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. Come down. Don't get so 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 a heart right. attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I need to get this straight. Within a day of arriving, you killed one of the five claimers. How is the city not erupting into chaos right now? Well, isn't he like a revenant or something? He's what? Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> he should be back around. Come five. back. Yeah. So we need to do our shopping quickly okay, so we can go okay, back to the right. so we can be safe. All right. You should come with right. us and be our team. Fine. Member, okay, yeah. fine, fine. Yes, I'll join your team. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yay! Like, yeah, she's like, what the hell is happening? This is why we need you, Narcoshan, to keep us, keep us in line. Yeah. This is what happens yes. when I leave for five minutes. Yes, <laughs> that is what happens. Narcoshan <laughs> rejoins the party. Yes. <laughs> you can make a split screen on the, like, on the Twitch thing. Oh my uh, gosh. Sean empathizing. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Fine, yeah, fine. I, I'll have to obviously. I will speak with someone at the Fane and make sure this is all allowed. I don't think I've ever seen someone from the Fane join, but I've also never heard of a strict rule against it, so... Probably. There may be some restrictions on what I can do. Don't expect me to invoke the name of Zivadona in the no. middle of combat. No. As... I don't think you should do that no. ever again. No. I, I think no. that's what gets no. you killed. Trust me, trust me, I know. <laughs> but there may be some limitations on what I'm capable of doing in the arena. Oh, okay. Oh, that is a question I had, Kaizen, as well. Um, 
And maybe Narcushan can answer this. It they is in look at you. arena, and you are trying to defeat others. Magic is used in the arena. Is teleportation magic still banned even within the arena? They both simultaneously, yes. Uh -huh. Like at the same time. All right. We can't use our special stamps. No, we uh, can't. No. What? What if you have? And I know this is gonna sound weird. A not as magical way to teleport. How does that work? So they both, both Paizen and Arcus on turn, they look at each other and like, Paizen's like, that sounds me. about right. It's like, she's like, yeah, no, that tracks, that tracks. Yeah. Paizen so, uh, seen her do it, I think. I'm, I'm yeah. asking, I, I, the DM, what the hell do you mean? I don't non -magical. know, it magic, that's the thing. If what is magic? What is it, mental? My, uh, hold on, let me force it. I have a question for AJ. What How are... is teleporting not magic? Exactly. That's what I'm trying to get here is what do you mean a non-magical? Like have a you mastered the science of teleportation? Do you have like a you have a warp hole, like a warp drive, like warp I mean, hole generator? Unless it's like described as you moving so fast that you blip. In which case it's not teleportation. Yeah. It's just you're moving really quickly. Uh, what, what ability are we talking about here, Q? I think it's void. Like from the void. void. It's the bottom half. Additionally, you teleport twenty five feet. That is a hundred percent magic. Yeah. How would it not be magic? You could probably no, do the first I'm half, but don't do the second. The class is technically magic. I yeah, disagree. But... No, 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 no. You're right. Any samurai who works hard enough can make lightning spontaneously appear on their sword and move at the <laughs> speed of sound for six yeah, seconds. Yeah. You're right, Q. There's not a single thing you do. <laughs> Are you kidding me, AJ? Uh, yeah, it's entirely magical. <laughs> Yes. Samurais known across the world for their ability to conjure lightning. Yes, it's yeah, magical well. to teleport. It's right, outside, yes. and you stick a rod high enough. Yes, um, I suppose. If um, the conditions are right, you could temporarily imbue your sword with lightning and probably die. Die. That's, yeah. I'm sorry, that's hilarious. I mean, yes. Okay. Uh, you probably yes, still can magic. use that ability. It just it just says additionally you can use. Yes, you don't, you, have... you don't have to use two charges to travel. You can no. use strike from the void without the teleport, but that will count. I, I think I get what you're going for. It's not a spell, but it is yeah. magic. It's so. teleport, too. Yeah. yeah. If you can find a way to argue that teleportation wouldn't be magic, I would genuinely be interested in hearing <laughs> that. But uh, no, no, yeah, that's, that's absolutely magical. All right. Um, um, but yes, Chris, are oh, you... Looking at, Chris is looking at Blink. I'm... Yeah, I'm looking at Blink, <laughs> and I'm wondering if this That's is technically teleportation. Too. Blink is, I think, also yeah, technically. Yeah, I think it has the text of teleport in it. Because you go in and out of the ethereal plane, and you return to an unoccupied space return with space your choice that you vanished from. Vanished. Okay. And I'm wondering uh... if that's just you phasing between the planes, or if it's you, if it's a teleportation. It's a fine line, and I want to get you these facts it. beforehand. <laughs> you could try oh, it, and it will kill you. Now, now, that's a good argument to make. <laughs> uh... Are we all looking up? Um, is, this, is jumping to the ethereal plane teleporting? <laughs> I would say it's teleporting. You're moving into a different plane of existence. But you could argue would... it's... Shifting even... to the plane. I shift to a different spot with magic. <laughs> okay, I'm just avoiding the word teleport. You're correct. I'm moving there with magic. Can I? Sh is there a doorway that you can? Well, then, through? like my. Yeah. So th this is this is definitely a matter of like try. deep like <laughs> magical <laughs> theory. <laughs> yes, this this is a conversation with you scholars, two archivists. Yeah. I would say, for the sake of Zivadona, her regional effect is that she can sense when creatures move between dimensions. That's why teleportation mm. is like, she okay. gets a little ping when there's, a, so I'm going to say even moving into the ethereal plane would count. Okay. It may not be a teleport, but from the rules, from the written of her regional effect, 
She can basically sense the disturbances in dimensional travel, oh, and it man. gives her a s small ping of like, mm, someone's doing it. Mm, there it is again. <laughs> So she gets very annoyed, and she's just decided to make it a law, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, so that's that's something to keep in mind, is neither you nor your enemies will be able to do that. Yeah. Or, rather, you can't do it multiple times. You can do it once, and then you might be smoten by the claim sun that's above you in the arena. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. okay. You're Ash now. Yes. <sighs> Okay. Okay. Well, so, uh, are we going to go back on the cart with the null guy and find? Uh, other well, I do stuff? have. Is there like a regular uh, shop in the bazaar, no, like a gold know. shop? In in the Orlin Bazaar, there will be the Champions uh, Bazaar. Isn't like you, there's two different bazaars because one is a normal shop bazaar and one is a token exchange bazaar. You guys just went to the the one that's for tokens because it was right there. Okay. Um, you no, have to go to the Orlin one for. If, if we, we go... go to that other bazaar, mm -hmm. we must be careful though. Yeah, yes. yes. it's controlled by Skier. All who right, is everybody, the boy. give me your bags. Yep. <laughs> Narcoshan will, will come with you so that you have a feign presence, and that will help Good. deter stuff. Cool. On the way. <laughs> Ooh, two twenty. Two our choices. Woo! Me. <laughs> Yes! You just upgraded Whoa. the item. Just upgraded? You get to choose two of the th and then the third the third was also a new one, so you get a dust of dryness dust of and dryness. two of your choice. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> dust of dryness. To make the oh my gosh, what the Well <laughs> just decide later. <laughs> we need stuff. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, so we'll say Items purchased disappear after 24 hours. So assuming your first round of the tournament is early enough in the morning, you could keep it throughout the day. You also, also, it specifies an item purchased disappears. So you could wait to purchase it for a bit. No no you can no wait till like tonight to purchase. Yep. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's good. To, that's good to know. All right. Um, but I will need you to choose right now okay. which are the mm. two 20s. I'm trying okay. to figure out what they all do. Uh, <laughs> some of them, I would say might be like a see what happens or you could i'll let you look them up because they're all all mm. of these are standard D D 5e items none of these are special force, i think is the one where you can track you've someone. had them yeah. yes right? it's the That's verdant so came the verdant had some of them it's the little marble you throw yeah. it at someone they make a save if they fail they are entrapped in basically a wall of force and if they succeed they still take like force damage i think so yeah yeah or take 5d4 force damage oh no you succeed. Yeah. Hmm. No, it's it's save or suck. Mm. You succeed oh, on a DC fifteen then. saving throw or take five D four force. All right. So what fail. if I take the fortress, tie it to an arrow, wait till uh, the fortress is in no. their face, and then speak the command word? And you can't do everything oh, with I arrow. See you, right. He says you throw, not you shoot. <laughs> yeah, you throw it in their face and say the command word, and then they get hit by a fortress. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> no, I think the, the Instant Fortress specifically states it must be placed against the ground. Oh, please. Uh, you can use an action to place this one inch metal cube uh, on the ground and speak its <laughs> command word. Right. So I would let you shoot it, and when it hits the ground, you could yeah. say the word. I feel like an ever smoking bottle could be helpful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the yep. ointment. A boot of Elven kind? Uh, they're attunement, I think. I think so. The boots of all the actually are even going great. Uh, Only attunement. None of the items on this oh. list are attunement. I specifically chose because it wouldn't make sense to oh, make you have to attune. Oh, it's mm -hmm. just stealth. And you make no sound. Okay. Uh -huh, and, and you, don't, you ignore it. It would be useful right? for someone with heavy armor if you rolled yeah. this and you had a stealth mission, basically. Yeah. It would, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I good. tried to make all the items just kind of like fun or generally Grand useful. Guy. General, yeah. 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 Drift right. Globe Felix has that, so you guys right. could have one now too, which is just the floating light ball. That's helpful. Dust of it is. Mm. Dust of dryness. You couldn't make arrows that lasted forever, but you could make an arrow of anti water muscle arrow for the day. Because the mm. dust would disappear after twenty four hours. Um Periaptive health, you are immune to disease. I mean uh, and if you have a disease you would you know uh, you, it would suppress it. Do you want to be large again? Potion yeah. of growth. Oh, potion of growth. Yeah. <laughs> An extra D4 on damage. Oh, that's true. Okay. 
Uh, I'll get a potion of growth for one okay. of them, and then the other one. Maybe the restorative ointment? I mean, that's just free health That just potion. sounds generally good. Yeah. Because it's just okay. out of good out of combat healing. Yeah. And restorative ointment will be the other one. Okay, so we have this a potion of growth, restorative ointment, and dust of dryness are your three items for the day. For the 24-hour period. Mm -hmm. Oh no, an immovable rod would be kind of interesting. Just stab it into the person, then they can't move. Eh, it's not quite. <laughs> well, well, they can just click it themselves and pull it out. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not a tomb. Anyone can click it. It's great for you know, keeping a door shut. Yep. We don't have fingers. <laughs> Some of these, the two twenties on any other day would have been bonkers for certain mm. like utility, but for a fight specifically, chose some pretty good ones. Uh, healing, uh, some benefits. Mm. I do think I do think Chris's idea for the instant fortress was actually not a bad one. <laughs> having a defensible fortress in an arena is unheard of. Like <laughs> that would have been I'm something. Certainly but... get people's attention. So how big is the fortress it makes? Dane's fort. Da so it creates a twenty foot by uh, a twenty feet on a side. So four. It's a four by four square, thirty feet high square tower, with mm. arrow slits on all sides, a battlement atop it. <laughs> the interior is divided into two floors with a ladder running along one wall to connect it. Uh, it has a small door facing you. It opens only at your command, which oh. you can speak as a bonus action. It is oh immune God. to the knock spell and the chime of opening. <laughs> um, every creature in the area where the, force, uh, the fortress appears must make a deck save or take 10d10 bludgeoning damage. Oh. So you could kind Just of like... pop it down. <laughs> opening <laughs> fireball. Like, like <laughs> run up to the enemy team and go, hi. Put it down at their feet and. <laughs> I mean, it's not like everyone has a wind-up merchant in their pocket, okay? No, no. This is oh, having expecting the enemy to have this is unlike the guy. The merchant even told you this expanded list was yeah. on the shelves for months. So you guys might be the only ones to have this. Oh yeah, um, no. Like, Perry, I found it. Is it? <laughs> yes. Although this kind of confirms the wind-up merchant might be found elsewhere in this world. Yes. So who knows? Maybe there's more expansions. Um, <laughs> but yes. Thirty one day. Perhaps. <laughs> I love it. I love so, it. Yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty is pretty dope. Dan Instant Fortress is one of my favorite items, to be honest. But the uh, the uh, the wind merchant's pretty great. Yeah. So you guys chose your items for the day. You can buy <laughs> them whenever you feel. I would recommend waiting until closer to the end of the day to buy them. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Speaking of buying, uh, mm -hmm. you all crowd into the, the carriage, uh, tell the Noel you're looking for other shops, and he's like, mm, okay. <laughs> another bazaar. <laughs> I, I, hate the, I hate the rats. <laughs> <laughs> we do too. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the horses hate it more. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and as the, the cart uh, moves along, uh, I am going to change the music up here Are because you, like, drawing my... unnecessary attention by arriving in this cart should we make oh, you, like get off at the bridge? That's okay, I like it. I'm going to say <laughs> the realization hits you a little too late as you're already like halfway there. But yes, a hundred million percent eyes are like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> they, uh, they, you've gained attention as wow. you're like. <laughs> you're the one, the one group of comfortable people walking through the city, <laughs> basically. Um, Luckily, it's not that far in. Yeah. But uh, I will be making perceptions. I am going to shift the music here for a moment. Oh no! Uh, so Does everybody have their bags, or you want me to keep your you bag? Have the bag. Okay. <laughs> have the bag. I have the bag. Uh, she's still holding on to hers. Okay, I have Peria's bag. Yes. And my bag. Sister, do you want me to carry? Oh wait, you have your quivers are fine. It's quivers fine. Cool. You'll kill anybody if they even get close to your arrows. That's so right. stand there next to uh -oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> Peria. Oh shit. As you guys are moving along through the city, shit. just as this just as this real realization hits you yeah. that you might be standing out too much. Yeah. You receive a message. Oh fudge from who? Okay. I'm listening. <laughs> I found time. It's a good time to talk now if you're free. I'm free now. <laughs> uh, 
the message came from Vivian. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Except the call. Except <laughs> <So> critical. <laughs> and so we, we hit we hit my timer basically of midday this day. Oh mm -hmm. shit. Um, where are we in, on the map? Uh, I'll put you on the map. Uh, you guys are passing by the Coliseum about this point. Uh, guys, I'll catch up with you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck did you make my face? He's like, what? <laughs> no, no. Are you, see, are you going to be okay? Dr. Shen's like, stop the car. What are you doing? I'll be fine. I just, I'm just, going to stand right here. I'm going to, I need a few minutes. You go on without me. What are we doing? Dr. Shen looks at you? you like, what? I, catch I don't up. know either. I'll catch up. I'll catch up. Paizane gets off, but doesn't approach Peria. He's like, I'll keep an eye on her. Just go ahead. It's fine. And mm -hmm. like, whatever. We can just... I came along to offer my protection. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch up. We'll just, catch let's up just pull shopping. off to the side and wait for her. Just we don't pull, have to be in ear reach if it's something important. Paizane's going to look at Peria and mm -hmm. kind of like give you a look uh, of like do you need to be alone like I just can you give me some space make sure I'm gonna go in this random corner in this shop Pison will, Pison will turn back to the cart <laughs> go across the bridge and park at the other end before you get to Skier's territory we'll catch up All right. and I was like whatever mm -hmm. okay and then takes off Pison's gonna stay away from Peria, but within eyesight, basically, because cool. he does not want you alone in the city. <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, mm. I'm going to plop down under a shade of branches or whatever, and I'll go ahead and subtly cast Scry for 10 minutes. <laughs> ah, okay. There we go. Okay, that explains a bit of why you're getting yeah. off the cart. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, Paizane will kind of like watch you like sit down for a bit. And, uh, are you using the mirror to Scry? Because yeah. like you have to use a reflective surface. Yeah, I have to use yeah. the mirror. So, you look in the mirror, and, and Pisin kind of is like, "The fuck, the, the fuck." <laughs> she like, needs to check her her fit or something. Like, what is this? <clears throat> but as you uh, as you stare into the mirror and you cast the scry, you feel that little bit of tension of somebody like the moment they, that you would attempt to scry that they are trying to resist, then you feel like, oh, as you know, she's allowing you. And uh, you feel Perry is very familiar with this feeling as a member of the Order previously of like passing through like a veil. Like the, the scry has like, it's fuzzy at, for a moment and then it clears as Vivian uses the passphrase to allow you to scry through into the Order's secret base of operations. And uh, it picks up. You see her sitting at a desk, like a nice, like a dark oak desk. Uh, lots of papers scattered. She looks like she's doing paperwork in a room by herself. Uh, and you see she, she has her hair tied up. A little bit of it has come loose. Looks like, a, like a, from a bit of stress, a little bit ragged. Um, she's wearing deep violet, almost black robes that you know is Exarch uh, attire that you've seen before. This is like high ranking official. In fact, this is... Your father was never an exarch, but this was the kind of attire your father used to wear while in the Order. Somebody of a high status. And uh, you you can recognize it on her. Um, give me a perception check real quick. Yep. Give me a good perception. Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's a 15. Not advantage. 15. Okay. Um you catch very briefly like she's putting it away as the scry begins like you caught her off guard with the scry as i do the fading of a black aura off of her okay. all right <clears throat> uh, and as, as as you begin to scry she does turn to you and you see like the small flicker of light in her eye as she's looking right at the sensor well, since you can hear me clearly through the sensor, this will save us a bit of time on spell usage. Um, I wish I had a way for you to... See, she, like, rummages through, like, uh, a de her desk real quick, uh, and see she pulls out a thin bit of parchment. This actually might not be a bad idea. And she will use a spell scroll of scrying to scry on you. Yo! And so, if you allow it, Hell yeah. A sensor appears above you, 
and you can just have a full conversation, conversation. for 10 minutes. That's Yo, a great, that's a freaking up? brilliant idea, actually. <laughs> that's awesome. 10 minute collect call. <laughs> <laughs> You've done something with your hair. Uh, yeah. Um, I like it. Thanks. Um, I also, Bardastian? Like looking at like the attire? Yeah. Huh. Um, it's hot. It's a, yeah. it's a, it is hot. It, yeah. it feels like it's. It must be hot there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, how have you? How have you been? Ah, oh, jeez. Um. Loaded question. Um. <laughs> I, I. I shouldn't even have. I. No. Yeah, no, no. I know. Thank, no. Yeah. I, it's really good to see you. It's. Uh, I didn't know if it would ever happen. To be honest, again. Yeah. It's no. Been, I um, mean, I've been hoarding diamonds. I don't really get that one. No, uh, it's just future. I don't know. I was gonna try something crazy as I do, but <laughs> that does yeah. sound like you. I, anyways, Sorry. we've only got about ten minutes before the scry right. wears off, and I don't have an infant over these spell these scrolls. Okay. Also, well done on learning how to use the scry spell. That's yeah, pretty thanks. advanced. Um, yeah, I'm leaning really more into the whole magic side. Good. I don't really hit things as much anymore. I'm kind of a mix myself. It's complicated. We don't have a lot of time. Right. I spent... I don't know how long in that state I was in. I know a lot more now, though. I understand a bit more about what's going on. When, when I died, I suppose, we didn't really know what was happening. It was so long ago. It was almost a year ago at this point. Jamat feels like an eternity ago. First of the apostles to fall. <laughs> sure does, yeah. I guess second after me. C Castellus told me what I am, who I am, to him. I can't believe I dedicated myself to him for so long. He never told me who he we were. I'm sorry. I thought your father might be my father for a long time, and my actual father was watching it all unfold like we were all puppets on a stage. Yeah. Yeah. What is our life, Faria? I don't know. Also, your mom sucks, too. You... Sorry, we'll get into that later. I'm no, sorry. I, I... I shouldn't mm. have just dropped that. Mm. I know she is. Um. I do, too. It's fine. Okay. I don't care about her. Okay. She gave me up at birth. It's, I, she's a stranger to me. Okay. At least Castellis was he. I don't know. I don't know. He's maybe he's worse. I don't know. But I know that I am was I was born to be a vessel apparently for Invilis. That's what makes me star marked. So he needs me. So he's forced to give me a little more leeway unless he wants to just keep me chained up somewhere. Which apparently he doesn't want to do, so maybe that's a mark in his favor? But one small mark on the good against the ocean of bad, I don't know. Either that or he's an idiot because he's given me the title of Exarch and given me a, a, a degree of control in the Order. I have my own team I'm assembling and we're working on things. I want to try to to try to help from the inside as I can. There's a considerable ramping of hostilities in Gardas. The snowmen, I suppose they're called, this resistance force is, is gaining power and traction. They're gaining the, the respect of the people here. It's, it's getting a bit out of hand. Castellus might have a full-on war soon. And I have no idea what the king's doing, but he seems to be a puppet just as much as me. Oh, no, he is not. <laughs> oh, he is not. He is. He's leading the rebellion. He has a secret really? side. Yes, he's a something with a Q. I forget the word. K. K. Well, the, the dreams. Flash tar, core spirit. Yeah. Kal Kalish star. There, that's the word, right? Kalish star. Kalish star. Kalash star. Kalash star. Oh, um... Okay, that's... He's Bros. 
See, she like leans back. Message him at night. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 okay. yes. That's great. That's good. That I can use that. That's very good. Thank you. That's that's that makes this whole risk worth it. Okay, that's huge. I could be a very good ally. I don't know how much pull he actually has. I think I think Castellus is primarily using him as a figurehead amongst the people. I had that. I knew there was something weird about that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Hundred percent. There are things I do have to tell you though. I'm not an apostle anymore. Uh, I suppose I was dead too long. Apostle of Mercy thing just... It, it, I don't know. It's gone. I was the shortest lived apostle of, this, of them all. But... Virus did reach out to me. And... I'm not her apostle. But we have an arrangement. She told me what happened with you. sorry the way things went after I was gone. I should have been there to to help. Y you did help. Not as much as I should have. I've been <sighs> I've been benched for so long it feels like I <laughs> I need to do something big. Otherwise I'll never catch up to you. No, we don't have to compete anymore. Oh... <laughs> Have to. We never had to, Paria. But I just have to prove I'm better than you. I don't. I, I just have to. Okay. No. <laughs> it's. It's. Mm. Just. Don't You'll need do it. Anything too big. Too fast. I will try to pace myself. I would like. It's too risky, but I'd love for us to meet sometime. But I know, not anytime soon. You seem to be in Bardest, which is good, as far from us as possible. Stay there a while until things calm down here. I know you plan to come back. I know you. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I will try to prepare as best I can. And if there's anything I can do, let me know. Um, oh, um, part of my agreement with Varys... Um, almost like a, I'm a warlock again. I, <laughs> old habits die hard. What can I say? I have a thing for pacts. I get it. I get it. <laughs> you really, you really do. Literally, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I have, we have a problem, don't we? I guess we know who to blame for all the dependency issues. <laughs> going to tear this order to the fucking ground. Um, but as part of my um, agreement with Virus, uh, you can message me anytime. I cannot be uh, surveilled upon. She is protecting me from uh, means of divination or uh, mind reading of sorts she, she's keeping us and our conversations private so you can rest assured thanks Ferris, if you're listening because i know you are but that's great i don't think she wants to talk to you no i don't blame her but still thank you you see like, she, like vivian like looks away for a second like and i think as, as someone who had this sort of relationship with her before you kind of know what's happening and she's like huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> she was just trying to remind me of something we needed to um, ask you. Mm. Have you... Have you had any doubts about Castellus and his... Um, the whole Auroracle thing? Because oh, it's got to be, right? N it's none of the... None, he, not, and none of the, the apostles seem to really care or know about this. If he speaks for all of Invilis, it doesn't make sense. I, but he has something. He's able to bequeath people auras. He has manipulation over the the, the, the Black Aurora. It's... Aeonic? it's. Is it Aeonic, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. And that makes him dangerous, if so. Extremely. I mean... Cortis can actually help them. Cortis? 
the the the, the ancient mage. Yeah, yes, he's asleep. He's literally sleeping in your backyard. You're going to have. We only have I like know, two minutes. Know, you need to really. I, and, okay. Uh, summarize that one for me, please. Cartoon, multiple simulate crumbs spread across the globe. Different continent has its own. Okay, bulk. less less general, more specific. Where's Cortis? <laughs> He's in the ruins in Gardas. He's sleeping. That's all you I know. See, something clicks for her. That's what the expedition's for. She knows. Ha. What is he no. right It is Aeonic. I don't know what you know, but you know more than I do. <laughs> I, I don't know what I know yet. I I I, have, okay. I I need to confirm. I will get back in touch with you when I find out. I may have an expedition coming up to go to those ruins. Oh shit! I've been assembling a team. Oh, Lord have mercy! It's a <sighs> crazy sword. <sighs> Just right. be careful. I you too. You're in Bardest. Oh, fine. I got Pisane. Oh, you haven't met Pisane. Who's Pisane? Great, he's a family friend. That's all good. Oh, well, I'd love to meet him then. Yeah, he, he's really. Anyway, yes. Just, you yes. feel the the edges of the scry beginning to fade. Okay. Well, um, I don't know when I'll be. Fr I, you can message or scry anytime, but don't expect a response unless I tell you I'm free. I, I have to. This is the first time it feels like weeks that I have a moment to myself. It's okay. But this has been nice. Yeah, it's been great. Okay, well, be safe. Me too. I'll try. Me too. And the, the image, it begins to like zone in until you just see her face and then gone. Ooh. I'm, not, I'm just sweating. I'm just sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating from my eyes. I'm sweating from my eyes. <laughs> my eyes are just really hot. This Bardestian sun. Really so much <laughs> dust here. So Man, she's damn. taking a really long poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she looked very urgent, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Okay. It I, might I, be I, that time of the month, I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe her uh, personal friend is contacting her. Oh, the, the, the historian guy? <laughs> yes. Yeah. The one I never shut up about. All right, Python, <laughs> let's catch up to them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mira. <laughs> hope it was hope it was a good it was poop. Yes. I don't know yeah. what that was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You were you were squatting down in an alley. <laughs> I didn't know what you were doing. Yes. Yeah, it was a good poop. Sure. Okay, well we have restrooms. We're not all animals. <laughs> we're not all barbarians. <laughs> I think, but you are a barbarian. Don't get I did not it's details. You know, that's actually a very offensive word. Oh, what, should, what would you prefer? Monger? No, I'm a barbarian. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you guys jog up to uh, the, the carriage that's parked across the bridge. Uh, and as you guys hop on, uh, Pisane immediately, sa immediately says, it was a big poop. And just gets hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Haria has a giant ass grin on her face. It was a really good poop. poop. Yeah. A really great poop. <laughs> Sometimes when you gotta go, you know, you mm -hmm. go. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, um, anyways. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> continuing on as the uh, the the call in waiting has finally been made, uh, you guys emerge back into Port Orlin. The uh, the greenery immediately taking a dive as it goes <laughs> down a bit, and there's a lot less grass and trees and and, and foliage. And a lot more trodden earth, sand, dirt, and grime. And a lot of rats. More fertilizer here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but as you guys go back to the... You passed this by before and you saw the guy getting mugged by rats. You now uh -huh. find yourself in a long, winding bazaar of... It, it, it has like almost like streets where they're lined by tents. But there are gaps for other roadways. It's mm. not... You don't have to necessarily go down the roadways, but... It's basically like, like a little tiny city of, of tents. Um, and it all leads up to this large building uh, that is marked on the map as Skier's Villa, but uh, just kind of looks like a large, square, sturdy building with no windows and a door. 
No windows. No windows, no decoration, and just one big iron door. Uh, as you guys uh, get get off the cart, uh, he seems to refuse to go into the bazaar itself. Mm. Um, he like he like leans over the edge. He's like, the boss didn't mention how long he'd be. Do you want me to wait, or we should not be too long? No, we won't be too long. I better be getting tipped for this. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn dirty rats! He just <laughs> whoosh, pulls it off to the side again. Uh, uh, so yeah. as you guys uh, arrive at the Orland Bazaar, you see Narkashan like immediately like looks down around her feet. A uh, single yeah. rat runs by and just like, no. <sighs> love coming here. <clears throat> but they have the goods. <laughs> they do. They do. That's why. <laughs> Everyone they comes. got the juice. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are just gonna tell me, what are you looking to buy? What are you looking to sell? Boy, we'll first thing is very easy. <clears throat> cool. I want a sling, a basic sling. Buy yourself a basic longbow too. And a basic longbow. <laughs> there's basic a there's a there's a magical. there's a a, a bargain bin, <laughs> rangers. <laughs> bundle pack <laughs> a sling and a longbow for five gold great Go for it. <laughs> great i will add them to my sheet yes do you want the complimentary arrows and bullets of course i want the complimentary arrows oh, and right, bullets. Fine. And just like some very normal just like 20 sling bullets and 20 arrows okay. there you go i'll mark down that i have i don't know that i'd ever used sling bullets. Well, no not? <laughs> Mira, Master Archer, Arcane Archer, with a magical bow. And a sling. <laughs> and a sling. <laughs> still would, Sharpshooter, I think, would still apply to those yes, sling bullets. It does. It does. <laughs> that, that would, you know, D David versus Goliath, David was yeah. a Sharpshooter. Had That's to be the only way, yeah. so only way to beat Goliath with a sling. I, I truly think he also had uh, the Griffin Saddlebag magical item. Uh... It deals extra damage against creatures larger than you. Oh, even that's actually perfect then. He was a colossal slayer too. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Somebody should just make David versus the Goliath David in D and D, and it would be pretty cool. All right. Cool. So great. Bought my basic stuff, so I have those. Oh yes, look at the tiny giant. How about that. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Okay. Really cool. And um, it's pretty cool actually. I like that. Yeah, I want to make a like the boulder goblin with it. But anyways, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, getting ideas. Anyways. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh. I mean, any of the other arrows I sent you yeah. to roll for? Uh, yes. Uh. So I did some rolls. Okay. Uh. Between. Let me just double check my notes here. Mm -hmm. Uh. They do have the pointed arrow. Ew. Okay. Uh, and they do have uh, a couple of rust arrows. Okay. okay. Let me just pull up. Boop, boop, boop. So uh, the pointed arrow uh, is a rare arrow, yes. and the rust is uncommon. Yes. So pricing. I always forget the pricing. I think I have it saved somewhere for a chart, but. Okay. I'm gonna be asking for the party fund on this one. Mom Dia is the holder of okay. the party fund today. So, oh, great. Uh, <laughs> each, each rust arrow will run you 200 gold pieces. Each pointed arrow will run you 750. Magic, magic shit gets so expensive even for just ammunition. Yeah. Feel weird having all this money on. Me. All right, you should um <laughs> let me hold Good. it. No, I, th I don't think so. All right. So I'm going to need some of the party fund. H uh, Peria. How um, much? It's her money. I can't. I can't dip out of it. Just, just how much is it? So the I'll say yes. for the for the rust arrow. 
it is made in sets of five, so it'll be for those five arrow. I'll say, because I did a roll, and they have, I had low quality, like, low quantity rust arrows, so I'll just sure. say they have a bundle of five. Sure. So that would be five for, uh, okay. what did I say, 215? Uh, I said two, which would be a thousand. 200. Uh, yes, it'd be a thousand gold for uh, the, the rust arrows. If you want how to get many bundle. pointed do they had? I know those were expensive. They were uh, seven pointed pointed arrows? Roll me uh, 1d6. <laughs> they have two. Okay. So I'll take a minimum one. of two. Cool. Yes. Um, those are expensive yeah, on their own. How many? 2,450 for all of them, I believe. If uh, that is really cool. Spend how much? Me, then... How much? What's the total? 2,450. I'm or sorry, two people were talking. What was the answer? 2,450. 2,450, you got it. I was going to say, it could be a loan because you might be getting 50k after the, the tournament. <laughs> well, so. Our party fund's going to go up extra. I will dip out and this. give my sister it and... <gasps> Here, I will update the Well, you told me to have the bag and I guess... Yeah. I she will, said yes. I will update my error list. Mommy said yes. You could have <laughs> the, the arrow. So, five. <laughs> You're the mom of the group. You have all the money and all of the negotiation. Cue's the kid, you know. Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead and. Somebody else, while it's I go actually. ahead and. I'm going to get these magical effects into my notes. Go ahead, somebody okay. else. I mean, yeah. except she's also holding half of the money. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay, looking so... at potions. At, I'm looking at potions. Okay. Anything in particular looking for potions? Potions of speed and potions of invulnerability. Those are some high-ranking potions. Those are some. <laughs> those are some Literally. juicy potions. But she's uh, like, oh, I remember having taste ones. ones. Yeah, they're ten each tokens. of oh, right. Yeah, they are ten they tokens are. worth. So I will tell you, potion of invulnerability is a rare potion. Uh, I think potion of speed maybe as well. Oh, very, very rare. rare. Speed is very rare. Very rare. I will tell you, a mm -hmm. potion of invulnerability will run you about two thousand gold pieces. <laughs> a potion of speed, <laughs> about seven thousand gold pieces. It's worth it. It's very good potion. We don't need haste. I mean, it's just you getting the effects of haste spell. Yeah, you drink it and you get the effect of haste for one minute with no no, concentrate. uh, no concentration. Yeah. It saves you a spell you slot. <laughs> you don't suffer the side effects until, yeah. like, the end. It's true. Yeah, so, minute. so basically, as long as the battle doesn't take more than a minute, you're yeah. golden. You've yeah. got no reason not to use it up. But... I will be... Yeah, arrow. Um, I guess cool. talking to Peria because she's... The one with the money, technically. Um, seven thousand. That was was that what it yes. was? Yes. Yeah. Right, here you go. Seven thousand. Here you go. Take it. Uh, can I get uh as you as you hand that over? I, can well, I get? No, a... I say take it. Medea has the bag. Sure, but as yeah. you pay as you pay oh. for it, could I get whoever's paying for it? To give me a dexterity saving throw. You got this. You got this. Uh, I can't flare because I don't know what's happening. Yes, so. that's fair. I'll say that much. Um, deck save. Deck okay. save. You're great at this. Typically, yeah, you're, great. Yes. you're fine. Uh, a rat runs across the counter, and you manage to just move your hand out of the way. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it was particularly going for your hand, but mm -hmm. it may have diverted if seven thousand gold was being changed across hands, and uh, <laughs> it does kind of keep running. You don't accidentally drop some of the gold, and the rat takes it. I agree with. Narkushan and that Noel guy. I fucking hate rats. <laughs> See, the, the, merchant, the merchant's like, oh no, we love the rats. They're great. <laughs> we love the rats. And like, you can just see in his eyes the help me. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Mm. All right. Uh, I give him the money and we're good now. Yeah, Post he hands you the potion. Okay. Make sure to All mark right. that down. Spirit! I'm best as fuck. <laughs> you get in some cats. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I could turn into a cat. No, I'd lose all everything. I'd just run away. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they bring me over there? 
<laughs> oh, true, yeah. Okay. So, okay. uh... Thank you, Peria. It's everyone's money. I mean, not really. I didn't oh. earn it, but... Alright, uh, Mike, you know what Q's Uh, yes. Uh, Q, uh, you find a, a shop that seems to cater specifically to that type of good. Uh, and, uh, I'm gonna do a d30 roll. If it's low, it doesn't mean it's not there, but higher will mean better deal. Right. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Do you ask around for it, or do you just window shop? I just would ask the like the the shop merchants who seem to have had that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, as you you approach, like uh, there appears to be um, an actual like an elven woman who looks very like very refined amongst all these shops. Actually, has like uh, the it's not actually a tent. This one is in like a small building. Uh, off to the side, um, with like windows and actually products in the windows. You also see there is a massive burly minotaur at the door with its arms <laughs> crossed and a like ball across his back, <laughs> as, like protecting like the shop. And as you walk in, she's like, "Oh, little dear, what are you doing in here? This is probably a bit above your price range." Uh, no. Well, I'm looking for. A gift for someone that, and so explain. Exactly explain what, what it is. That's a very specific gift. Um, well, if you're quite certain you can afford it, see, she does like look look over your equipment. Are you perhaps one of the pit fighters' children? That would make some sense then. Uh, no, but I am gonna be in an upcoming tournament. Hmm. Well, I suppose then I should give you the respect a champion deserves. And see, like, she, like, takes on, like, almost, like, a slightly condescending, like, I'm talking to a kid tone. But <laughs> she does go into the back and she produces, uh, comes out with, like, a little, uh, bust statuette, uh, with the beautiful choker, uh, uh that you've requested. Uh, solid gold crusted with emeralds and rubies uh, in a very like fine ornate it looks like the clasp is of a dragon's head the eyes being rubies with an emerald held between the teeth of the dragon uh, with little wings that come up around the sides it's this gorgeous ornamental choker uh, with a uh, priced tag set at 10,000 gold pieces <laughs> shit I better do something cool <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that looks really nice. Yes, that's what we specialize in. How often do you actually get to sell that the kind of stuff like that here? Like, oh well, quite often actually, as we prioritize for the fame. And uh, you realize, as you're looking at it, it has the same kind of design that Narkushan wears for her jewelry. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think you remember asking her on the boat about this, and uh, Narkushan mentioned there might be some places in town that could cater to this. Oh, uh, uh, you mean like Narkasan? I don't know who that is, but yes, probably. If they're with the Fane, you've probably seen some of my works. Oh, wow, you do a lot. Well, you're really good at Oh, that. well, <laughs> only some. There are others. Lesser quality. <laughs> yeah. The Claim Chieftain likes to dress up her little dolls for everyone to see and view her majesty. It's one of the great uh, privileges of being part of the Fane, is you get to wear the finest of jewels. Mm -hmm. Like a walking dragon's hoard through the city. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense for Queen Chieftain. Yes, it does. Glory be to her and her immense purse. <laughs> <laughs> um... On the 20d30, though, she does look you up and down. You say you're entering the tournament tomorrow? Yep. I have been wondering if I could potentially expand my wares to the general populace. Oh. But the problem is, most of the people here, they're not 
cultured enough to appreciate these works. If it can't kill someone or set them on fire, they don't <laughs> care. You said he's just like the person I'm trying to buy that for. They have good taste, I'm sure. <laughs> so, how about this? Your equipment appears to be serviceable. You don't seem to be wielding a toy there. He's like pointing to the sword. <laughs> I've certainly met children who work in the pit. It's not a first. Do you have a team? Yeah, actually, uh, the one I'm trying to buy that for is going to be participating in the tournament. Perfect. Please, um, if you could, please bring them here. Uh, sure. Uh, how does the, 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 the earring work again? Um, you can just cast message as long as they're up there within, like, it, I have a handout for it. Like 30? Uh, I think it's... Mm. More oh, it might be more than the cantrip is good for. Message is 120 feet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we will tap the earring and send a message. No, uh, if you use aura, you can use it up to 500 feet. Is but you just... can also just normally do it at 120, that's correct. Okay, is it more than 120 for me? No, you guys are all probably in the same bazaar. Alright, so you will send a message to Magia. Uh, so this is oh. 25 word to us? Uh, but it's not sending. We're, we're... You guys can just talk to each other, okay. essentially. Hey, Mazia, because it, you can do it back and forth infinitely as a cantrip, you can just do it. Hey, Mazia, can you do me a favor and come to and so I explain the, mm -hmm. what the stuff looks like? Uh, sure. Um, okay, I saw you wander off earlier. Um, uh, what, all right. Uh, where are you? All right. I'll, 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 yeah. You want me to go somewhere that's... For reference, the shop is named Fane's Finery. Uh, Fane's Finery or something? Finery? <laughs> nice stuff, nice stuff at that. Yeah, um, uh, as, you, as you mentioned, uh, if, if you say that out loud, your Christian's like... I do. She's in Fane's Finery. She, what is she willing to spend a fortune? I don't know. Oh, how much I'm money do you people now. have? Well, typically, Q is a stickler for Spending money. She would say she also doesn't look. She, she a wears a blood apron. Why would she be at Fane's finery? I don't oh, know. Let's all go find out. Let's just so, <laughs> yes. find out. At the finery. Okay, so it's like, ugh, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, as you guys all wander to this little little building, the Minotaur like steps up as Pisces is like, where, where do you think? It's like, why are we here, guys? As the mentor is like accosting Paisane, it's like cute the little girl in there. I'm her guardian. Minotaur just sort of like nods and lets you pass. Thank you. Uh, it's Paisane's like, oh, they get to go through, but I'm I'm a risk. She like, said, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't exactly seem like a type of patron here. A bull in a china <laughs> shop. <laughs> uh, that is my sister. Can I go in? let you pass. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Most of you guys can pass. <laughs> <laughs> it's the big barbarian oh, yeah. man with a big hammer on his back. Get back, <laughs> Fine. This is profiling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm plenty fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, as you guys walk into the shop, you see the, the, the elven one behind the counter. Oh. Look at these ladies. Now, this is a team I can get behind. Uh, and this must be Narkushan. It's like pointing to the to Narkushan. Yes. yes, I think she is wearing some of my works. It's hard to say for sure. Uh, but, Mazia, could you come here? Mm, yeah, sure. Uh, and she will say to Mazia and point okay. her to a shop team. This is mm -hmm. the one I was, you know. I see, I see. A wonderful canvas to work with. Excuse me, dear. Could I please see your neck for a moment? Yeah. I need you to do some measurements to adjust. Yeah. And she like pulls oh, out like a okay. tape measure <laughs> and she like oh. takes okay, wraps it around as measurement. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Um, I, it would. Uh, I suppose it would be quite fetching on you. Uh, and she's like, hold still, and she pulls out this gorgeous <laughs> solid gold choker with draconic designs of like wings up the sides set with rubies and emeralds uh as she 
measures, like, a, kind of, like, sees how it fits and takes some measurement adjustments. Like, I'll be right back while I adjust the class. <laughs> yeah. You can, uh, you can tell if anybody to makes a perception of Medea. She looks incredibly uncomfortable, <laughs> um, <laughs> with people touching around her neck. <laughs> uh, mm. she's kind of like, how are you doing? <laughs> and, uh, she, she goes, she goes in the back for a minute. Uh, the Minotaur is kind of like in the doorway, keeping an eye on you guys. Uh, but you guys are alone otherwise in the room. Hey. So I guess I really for? can't hide it any longer. No, what are you planning, Q? You hate spending money. I, I don't hate spending what? Then why do you prevent me from spending it every time I try to? Because yours are expendable? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you and I have known each other for a good bit now, and... Mm. I don't typically make friends, mm -hmm. but... You're calling me your friend? Well, I kind of think you're more like my best friend at this point. <clears throat> I mean, we killed a dragon together. We you did. You we tried did. to get the you know what from Peria for me, and we just kind of did a lot. We're kick-ass. <laughs> Together. <laughs> Ever since the... I don't know either. Of the living mimic. Mm hmm I've been trying to find... Something similar-ish for you. I will say, mm -hmm. Medea, it is very reminiscent of the one you picked up from the Horde that then came alive and tried to kill you in yeah. Lauren's ruins. Yeah. I gathered that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As... You know, I kind of wanted to get something to let you go know, and see you as my best friend. <laughs> as you're saying this, Q, as you guys are saying this, you, you catch, standing in the doorway, the elven woman. That is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I've made the adjustments. <clears throat> this little one says you are all joining the tournament tomorrow. Is that correct? That is yes. correct. <sighs> you all seem quite capable, and mm. I am hoping to reach a broader market audience. <sighs> Two thousand gold pieces, and you will wear it during the fights. That is so people can know Man. who to uh to come to if anyone asks and she mm -hmm. like hands it to you mm -hmm. Fane's fineries the orland bazaar if it happens to get damaged during the fights would you be willing to repair it i should certainly hope it wouldn't get damaged no no but keep it safe yes i suppose it, it is it is a bit delicate not something meant to be worn in combat typically but well where we are mm -hmm. i have to adjust with the times Perhaps one won't. day we could see beautiful gladiators, mm -hmm. like uh, yourself, pointing to Medea. Thank you. Yes. That's so nice. You Unlike the fruit out. outside, pointing to Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she will pull out 200 platinum, which I believe is 2,000 2, gold. gold. And hand Ooh, it to you her. pay in platinum too. You are my favorite type of customer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, instead of going <laughs> with yeah. a million gold. It's so much easier. Oh. <laughs> it's it it's it. just better. Just a little bit of clean. It's not a. Yeah, it's not like a break the counter. <laughs> Big counter. Gold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, that's glass. <laughs> so, uh, the Dia. You may add to your character sheet, you have uh, Fane's Finery Choker. Uh, it has no enchantment. It is just a very expensive, pretty choker. However, I will say, for the basis of enchantment, this is a very prime candidate if you were to get it enchanted. I, I don't have the time to explain why D&D &D mm. rules enchanted items <laughs> need to be magical and, and wonderful looking. Nah. But perhaps the crystals absorb the magic better. They refract the spell work. I don't know. Because it even says, like, in enchanting rules, like, like thousands of golds worth of materials are required. So 
This thing is worth 10,000 gold of materials for enchanting purposes. You could probably get this thing turned into some sort of super, like, like very rare category magic item. If you ever were interested. But it is a mundane color. A choker. I just, I, I kind of like, I have to like go down, but I, yes, I like give her a hug if she allows it. <laughs> I, I was like, can I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now I have to get you something. I'm going to get you something. I'm going to get something for your accessories of your, of your weapon, or I'm going to find something for you. You would never be so with the bloody bib yes. uh, the, the, the I'll find something that matches it I will I, I'm loving this moment if you could stop dripping on my carpet I would appreciate yeah. it right yeah sorry uh, thanks it's so yeah. stuff out of course as, of course. as we're leaving I'll press to nice. digitate the carpet so sorry bless you <laughs> uh, as you guys leave the shop Paizane's like having a stare down with the Minotaur. <laughs> You're not so tough. I could take you. Oh, Paizane, yeah, You're both bad. tough. Let's go. <laughs> he backs away. They're both staring each other down. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have taken him. Yes, you could have. Isn't really that right, Medea? Uh. <clears throat> yep. <Yeah. clears throat> Anyways, uh, we're. Uh, Oh, that's a uh, like pointing points to points video. That's um, it's really really beautiful. Um, brings out your eyes. Thanks. Mm. Q got it for me. Weird. I mean, great. <laughs> that's good. That's good As job. A Q. friendship, friendship, a friendship uh, choker. Oh, I guess. that's that's really that's that's really sweet. That's really wholesome. Wow. <laughs> I, I feel like. I feel, like I feel like I've missed a lot with you guys. <laughs> it has a been a bit. Now I wonder if they have any slain arrows. Mm. Uh, and we're back. <laughs> what? Before we spend all of the money, can I look for Yes, please, arrows? please, please. <laughs> look for what you, you guys. For the minute glasses of seeing or some shit. Um, hold on, let me seeing. scroll up. I gotta find it. Scroll, 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 scroll. Amen. There it is. Eyes, Eyes of minute seeing. seeing. Yeah. Advantage on intelligence investigation checks. Searching areas. Oh, that's, just, that's okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Uh, yes, I will say they absolutely have that. Cool. That is a very that's a very low like minor tier uncommon. It's about a hundred gold pieces. <gasps> I can afford it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will pay yeah. the hundred gold. What is it cool. They're just crystal lenses, like pair of glasses. glasses. Um, you can see much better than normal out to a range of one foot. So she's got magnification up to yeah. one foot. Oh, uh, advantage on investigation shit. checks while searching an area. So, yeah, hmm. it's. Just it's just a nice little magic uh, item. That's a very good a place where rats are trying to rob you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, before the expensive, some not expensive. Um, do they have any dust of dryness here? Let me do. I know we can. Wait, have... wasn't that one of those things we rolled? But it's only for twenty-four hours. Yes. I need something more permanent. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can find one dust of dryness. That's seventy-five gold, right? That was for the um, right. For What's the, the actual merchant. price? That was for a rental price for a day. Right. Uh, it is one hundred and fifty gold. I can pay that with my gold. Okay. Small packet of dust of uh, dust of dryness. This includes one d six plus four pinches of dust. Roll me a d six if you could, please. Yes. Plus four. Yep. Uh, pay, Eight. not bad. That's not bad, actually. It's pretty good. Eight pinches of the dust, which I will say will let you make eight arrows worth with okay. your idea, basically. Um, so what 
Do I, I, I guess I don't need to get Sovereign Glue, but I need to buy some kind of material I, I also, to... I will also say, Sovereign Glue in 5th edition is a legendary wondrous item. Really? Yes. So, Holy I had to look it up between shit. episodes. There's no way in hell they okay. have Sovereign oh, Glue here. God damn. It is um, a legendary item. So, for miscellaneous sticky material to attach the... Because uh, it's only a pinch that's right, needed. Right. But some kind of sticky material, uh, just yes. spend like a few gold of material. I'm, I'm gonna say we aren't gonna we aren't gonna make you spend money on glue. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say the cost of the dust is enough for the arrow. Like you can, okay. I'll let you just make eight okay. dryness arrows with my crafting arrows. What level of arrow would this be? So I know how much time it takes. Good question. Let me take a look. Um, probably low end. It's a very situational it's, arrow. It's, it's very situational and it's very simple. It's literally take arrow, dunk an adhesive, sprinkle. Take arrow, dunk an adhesive, yeah. sprinkle. Um, I'm going to say, honestly, it, it, this could be something that you could just do with like an action. Okay. With oh. like, with like out of, out of battle, like a minute to okay. just take adhesive pour it on sometime sprinkle, tonight done. i'll do it because i can just put it in my yeah. you know dimensional quiver the dimensional quiver exactly and yeah. you could have them so. hovering in space okay so tonight i will craft those and have my, my anti water yeah. elemental arrows or even even not even water elemental going into uh, uh, uh the ocean this could actually be a pretty good like just um like someone's bailing drowning. water arrow or yeah. someone's yeah. drowning yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, I'm dry and yeah. dying now. It, it also could have like it's just weird applications on enemies that Sorry. might have like a slimy body. It yes, might affect them weirdly. I also really like the idea of like pulling someone out of the water. He's drowning. He's got too much water in his lungs. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, water in those lungs. There's now a hole in them. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Put some Sad. solid glue, or just put some glue on it. Just some normal glue. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is looking for anything, but I think the last thing she would care for is like healing potions. Mm. Oh, okay. potions are... are, yeah, yeah. Those are pretty, pretty common. You, you see, there is a big old potion <laughs> shop, potion emporium. Fish. Um, what are you looking for? Honestly, just what. What level of healing potions do they have? What are you looking for? <laughs> how much are... I know this is probably out of the price range. How much are Supremes? Just out of curiosity. Let me pull it up. I'm sure it's ridiculous. I guess the realistic one would be to ask what's a superior cost would probably be still still expensive, but maybe within the realm of possibility. Yeah, they're like. Mm -hmm. Also, this might be the cheapest place to buy them, in all honesty, because they probably make them by the buttload. Uh, you would not be wrong. This place produces a hefty amount. Also, fun fact, uh, you find. I don't know if it's like a shop, like Paizane or Narcachan could tell you rather than like being like on a poster. The reason potions here are cheaper than anywhere else in the world, mm. the, the process of making peeling potions here is significantly easier using a might and water, even lesser a might and water, mm. is a incredibly easy to use resource. A couple of ingredients just shift it right into a potion of healing. Uh, for a supreme potion of healing, your standard, like anywhere else you'd go, would be like twenty thousand or something. It's an absurd amount of money for uh, mm. five thousand here. Oh, about a fourth mm. of the cost. How many do they have? How many do you want? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I got him. This is the place. Would be the place to go. Wow. You walk in. There are shelves lined My with God. potions. How the bottom God. shelf is just normal. Then you have a uh, greater. Then you have like superior, supreme. These are there. There is how what much are the price tiers. Yeah, how much uh, are the others? Yeah. 
So, uh, basic healing potions are 25 gold apiece. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. Greater healing potions are 50 gold apiece. Oh my, oh my god. god. Superior wow. are 1,000 gold apiece. Ooh. It's a bit of a jump there, unfortunately. That's still not that unreasonable. And then supreme is the 5,000 apiece. How much money I do we like, have? I feel like the superior definitely is the, the better. Uh, That's the better deal. Yeah, sorry, yes. what did you say, Megan? How much money in total? I mean, my bag is yeah. 1,000. 220. Oh. Q has the money now. How much yeah, does Q have? She's currently sitting on 15k 855. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my suggestion is at least a superior for all of us. Yeah. Uh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's the, the thousand one, yeah. Okay. Supreme is five thousand. I don't know if you. That is a lot. Well, I was then. I was thinking four, core party. No, that's true. There well, are six of us. Pizane. Um, Pizane have potions on it. Pizane <laughs> kind of needs. Uh, well, actually, Pizane has whatever he had left over from the um, the the other one. So let me take a quick peek at his character sheet. He would. I think he has. Something. Maybe have one. Might have some. Uh. I don't remember. I think he has, I think you guys gave him and he has, because he doesn't have aura anymore, so he's right. been keeping himself stocked. Uh, he has a superior and a greater. Oh. oh. That's okay. only two. But, but still, he has a superior is the bigger thing. That's only two for somebody who doesn't have aura. Yes, I know. Well, but we can, we can, we can, Pisane, we can like buy a bunch of graders <laughs> for... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're they're 50 <laughs> per... Like, yeah, we yeah. buy a bunch of graders, actually. Uh, yeah. Like, like for for out of combat, I mean. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, um, for in on. combat, um, superior is better. If we spent two thousand gold, we could get forty graders. That is absurd. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Which we're gonna use. <laughs> Should we buy forty? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know what? That definitely seems like a good idea. It seems like a good number. There's like a dwarf at the front desk who's like, Do you want these in a crate on a cart, or do you want to carry these by hand, or... Oh, we got it. Crates. 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 Yes, yeah, like... I could do, like, crates of 20, so two crates of 20, or four crates of 10. Maybe four crates of... crates of 10. Four crates of 10. Four crates of 10. So, uh, he'll ring that up for you very gladly, you. and he will have these little, like, like wooden milk box style, <laughs> like milk crate box style of just, like, potion, 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 like, rows of potions, and then put a lid on it. Ten, 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 ten. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, we'll split once those we out back. later. Yeah, once we get back, we can give you them out. Yep. I told you guys, Bardus would be the place to spend your money. <laughs> and yeah. then you will buy... Also, at least one uh, superior. Okay. And she won't give that straight to Pisane. Okay. He will not say no. Um, should the two squishies get a superior? Uh, <laughs> Technically, three with Nar. Does Narkashan have any potions? Oh, yeah. she has three graders, one superior, a lesser water of Amida, and a supreme. Uh, okay. She's I good. Have a superior. I, no. I have. Let me check. I have two graders. Two, uh, three regulars. I have and, one normal healing potion. Uh, well, two vials of uh impure. Might. Also note, uh, Narkushan is also capable of using healing magic. Yes. Uh, and Chappelle's gonna be giving us potions for the tournament. Can I ask? Uh, I will also. I will let you know uh, in advance. Uh, perhaps he gave them to you before you left the house. We'll just say that uh, he managed to provide you all with three superior, five greater, and six normal healing. Each. Oh, three, Each. Five, whoa, whoa, whoa. Six. Three, five, six of superior, greater, normal. Okay. We're good. We don't need no buy no more money. You also <laughs> all each have one flask 
of pure Amitan water. He will tell you there is a condition on use during the tournament. Mm -hmm. Once it is used, you may not use more for the rest of the tournament. Each of you gets one. If this is a universal tournament rule, mm. each fighter gets one use per tournament. It's a long rest in a it bottle. It is a long rest in a bottle. It fully recuperates and re-energizes you with an action in battle. Keep in mind, the other claimer-sponsored teams will have this too, yeah. which yeah. makes which can make battles prolonged awesome. combats. Yeah. Yes. Um, so you can get an enemy three... to the brink of death, and then they're back to full. Sorry, three, six, wait, three... Five. No, three, three, five, six. Three, five. Three, super, okay. three okay. superior, five okay. greater, six normals. Okay. You guys are being potioned up because these fights can get long and difficult. Greater. So, okay. All right. I think we're greater. good. Yes. <laughs> because with, with also having... Bought a crate of forty oh, graders. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have we graders uh, for days. days? Yep. So nice we got graders probably for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we'll before we leave this place, we you know yeah, we come back. We stock up. <laughs> yeah. I will say, you guys probably buy out his daily stock <laughs> of graders. Like, sorry. he's like, no, no, he's like, don't oh, apologize. <laughs> if you want more tomorrow, I'll make sure to stock up more. I just got to stop by the third shrine tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> uh, you guys are uh, welcome here anytime. <laughs> All right. Um, I only have one expensive item to look for left. Slaying arrows. Yes. Right? Okay. I'm going to roll a D100. Okay. If they even have any, and then we'd have to even, even see what type they are. Correct. It's not necessarily a super high roll you need here, but the Just higher, th the more likely you're going to get variety. Sure. 92. Woo! Okay. Okay, that's pretty freaking good. That mm -hmm. is. I'm going to say... Yeah, you find a shop... That is <laughs> Mira Heaven. <laughs> it's yeah. yeah. It's it's an archer. It's an archery shop. It's a yeah. shop. It has a number of a number of like the craftable type of arrows you can already make. Different but like short bows, long bows, etc. Crossbows, uh, bolts, slings. Probably where you got the sling combo, honestly, the first time. Um, they just, also have. We're just walking out of the shop. And like cartoon style, there's just like an outline yeah. of Madeira, Medea, or sorry, Mira, Mira. that disappears yeah. as you're like, where does she go? And then you all just look over to the arrow shop. She's right. Yep. Yeah. He's in there. Um, okay. I'm going to ask you to roll 1d4 plus 2 because you rolled so high on that. Uh, or I rolled so high on that. Plus 2. They have four, plus two. four different they types. They have four different types of arrows of slaying. Wonderful. Now we need to roll for what they're against. <laughs> Do you ask for a specific type by any chance? Like, if you are you asking for... So, I know they can be less specific and more specific. They can be, yes. Um, You can just say humanoid, or you could say, like, elf. Yeah. Um, I would like humanoid and then we also know what abraxas is dragonborn dragonborn if they have humanoid or dragonborn those are the two specifically those in two. my that will help narrow things down for sure um aside okay. from here there's none others that hold on let me let me see if anything comes to they're not gonna have dragon for obvious reasons did you um, ask i'm not Asking, I'll let them tell me what okay. they have. Okay, that's good to note. Um, That'd be awkward. <laughs> a little. Yeah. Yeah. Alert. Um, <laughs> Do you have arrows of world dragon slaying? No reason in particular. Be like, guards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, What's your team name again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, right back there's, to I'm just trying to think if there's <laughs> any other. Um, 
Any other uh, like creatures you need yeah, to like uh, hunt down? Yes. Uh, I, uh, what creature type is the Chimera? I was just gonna say you do know about the Maragorgon. Yeah. I would say. I think it's a, is it I a monstrosity? Say, I would, let me take a look. Probably a monstrosity. I, that thing is nightmarish. I don't offhand know its creature. Uh, well, it's it's an it's 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 a thing. Uh, yeah. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. Like an aberration type, I but I think it'd be an aberration. It is a fiend. <gasps> oh. Mm. It is a fiend type. Okay. Uh, I will tell you that. So I guess um, the three I, I'm it would be dragonborn, humanoid, and then fiend. Fiends, Those would be the ones that I can humanoid dragon. Uh, only the ones I can think okay. of because we're fighting a lot of humanoids in the tournament, so. <laughs> That's generic enough. I'm gonna roll D30 uh, any three times. Sure. Beast, bestial. Peak races. I'm gonna say above a 15, they have it for each okay. one. So first one, we're gonna go humanoid. Oh, no. Dang. Just okay. off. We'll figure out. We'll figure out what else that is then. Yep. Uh, now we're gonna do humanoid dragonborn. Yes. They have it. <laughs> the 30. I'm going to say they have two. Two? Okay. Yeah. Arrows. Great. So two of those four are dragonborn arrows. Yeah, just wait till you hear the price. It's going to be crazy. Oh, it's worth it. Two of those are dragonborn arrows. Now for the third. Fiend. Last one. The one you're looking for is fiend. Ooh. Uh, one is fiend. Two are dragonborn. And the last one... This is just for my... Yep. You're just kind of randomizing, thinking. Uh, aberration. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Now, here's uh, the, the million dollar question. Mm -hmm. Or the however many thousand gold question. <laughs> yes. Each question. <laughs> yes. 40,000 Like, gold. it's a one use, but... It is a one use, but if the creature... So... It's a saver, saver half yeah. for 60, 10 extra piercing damage to a creature of the type, basically. Yeah. They have a con save, which can crit. Yeah. So yeah. if you yeah. if you use one of these on a crit arrow, that's 12 it's, D10. On yeah. addition to your damage, this can be insane. Yes. Fully. I'm going to say... I've been doing a lot of these rolls. I'm going to do one last D30. Okay. The higher it is, the better the deal is for this. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. 29 out of a D30. Damn. <sighs> they are currently having a sale. Uh oh, how wow. convenient. Wow. These, hey. these, are, uh, these specific arrows specifically the fiend and the aberration haven't been selling well it's not a lot of fiends and aberrations in bardas that they know of um so those two are going at like a severely discounted price and to try to get them to just get off the shelf especially with this upcoming tournament they want to provide a better deal for the people you can get all four as a bundle deal deal for one sec Get the puppy eyes ready. <laughs> this is an ex extreme value, I assure you, considering their rarity. Uh, all four for 10,000 gold. Yeah. That was about what I was expecting. Yeah. I say, fuck it, let's do it. It's not my choice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah. You have the money, not me. <laughs> yeah. I will also broken. I will also say <laughs> it, because we've only been talking about buying and I've mentioned this throughout the campaign. Sell. This is also the place to sell any yeah. extraneous magical items that you don't think would sell elsewhere. Mm. Not necessarily to this guy specifically, <laughs> but you could make yeah. up some of that capital by going to other shops and selling the various magical goods you don't care to keep. Alright, what 
Hey guys, are you looking to get again? These are four arrows yes. of slaying, Just say which yes. deal an extra 6d10 <laughs> damage to the creature type. So if, and two of them are dragonborn, one is a fiend and one is aberration. So if Mira hits a creature with these arrows, they will take an extra 6d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half on a success. They would understand the aberration. I don't know if she would realize that what the chimera is. Or not, not the aberration, but dragonborn. Mm. Uh, I don't know if she would know what the chimera is. It's a good thing she can ask. <laughs> Mira can explain what, uh, yeah. why so, all these things. Why, why the, those other two? Oh, well, I understand the dragonborn. The fiend is the, the creature that... If guy wearing the Tarask armor that almost killed your mother. Okay, yeah, fuck him. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, 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 fuck him. And the aberration, uh -huh. perhaps we don't know what this lady of the sea is. Perhaps they are an aberration. I will also say, uh, if you buy them individually, it's 4,000 apiece. So... It's, it's you're making a pretty, deal. A pretty good deal. Saving a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But damn mm -hmm. I know my arrow addiction is also playing into this. Uh, I mean, yes, but it does help us survive. You know what? I can't say it's not helpful. There's a chance we're going to be walking away with money from the tournament anyways. So this one time... Fine. I will buy them all for you. Uh, what is what is the DC? Is it 16 or 17? It is set at DC 17 Constitution saving throw. Still pretty decent. If they fail, they take uh, the full 6d10 piercing. If they succeed, they take half. So it's and still even half damage. is what average of third uh, 15? 15. 15. 15 on a save average it, on, on on a success. And that's just like in addition to my normal. To your already insane damage, yes. Right. Now she was down to 2,800 gold. All right. Do we have anything we want to tell? Oh, no. wh while I'm at the uh, arrow mm -hmm. shop, um, do they have like, would they have like a glass head arrow you could put something into to break? Oh, um... That is not something that is uncommon uh, as an idea for like, actually, I mean, yes, actually, because that's, uh, that's kind of the, um, kind of the way some of your arrows probably work from crafting is, is like the explosives or the, yeah. they probably would have like an internal powder or something. I have another, um, um, another arrow I've been holding off on until I can get those, because I still have, um, <sighs> I still have uh, how much? Is it? Ten uh, uses of the herbicide to make like an anti-plant like creature. An anti-plant arrow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'll say um, like five gold for each like hand-blown glass arrowhead. Right. Uh, so she could then so... fletch into a uh, an anti-plant. You know. So that would be I am buying. And uh, <laughs> no, we're talking about the future too, Q. Um, <laughs> I'm spending two hundred gold for forty if they have that. Man. Holy shit! Damn. If you want to roll for how many they have, mm. I will. Yeah. Might buy their entire stock. Thank <laughs> oh God. Hmm. This isn't something I can just make myself. Okay. Roll or do they have 40? How many? I'm sorry? 40 or 200 gold. <laughs> if they have 40. Oh, That's uh, why I'm asking. Roll. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say they don't have 40 That's, flat out okay but i will see how many they do have okay because this is not something that probably is like in high demand no it's probably not it doesn't make sense for them they to have carry five that. i will buy all five all right so let me calculator so 
It's not math. It's not math. I clicked an extra. No, no, no. I well, yes, but it's the math you deserve. Arrow. All right. Um, if I leave, uh, can you make more of these for me? If you pay in advance, I can make more of them for you. All right. Okay. So here mm -hmm. is. <clears throat> Let's see. Are you asking for thirty-five more of them? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you can pay in advance for as many as you'd like, within reason. If you add a zero to them, that he'll say no chance. <laughs> God no. Because there's there's a certain like amount of time requirement yes, to yes. like sunk cost at that point. <laughs> um. So yeah, I will spend two hundred gold essentially, getting five now, and paying okay. for thirty five more <laughs> in, in future. I don't know what you're trying to kill, but I hope they don't like glass. Well, it is more so what I am putting <laughs> what in. What you it. put in, I get it. I was making a joke. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, uh, funny. Anti glass. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey, well, we're basically broke now, so I should sit there. <laughs> you better win the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> it would suck to lose and not get paid. <laughs> sure would. Really would. Uh, we're in an arcade shop, real quick. I just yeah. want to look. Okay, sure. Then okay. okay. Um, I'm finding. Is there an arcane shop? Like there is. Magic's not cool. banned here by any means. Yeah, I know, but it's next it's... door to the Silent Hall, so I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's not. I mean, there's there's enough distance between. Absolutely, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. There's there is. So it's on the I will say. I will say in the distance, you do see like a. It, it's like a tall, narrow building with like, uh, what looks like the symbol of like the finger over the mouth on the top of it. It, it it kind of like almost looks like a watchtower looking out across the city and it kind of gives you like a chill as you look at it you're like mm, fun yeah okay. all right i'm looking for illusionist bracers i know they're extremely valuable <laughs> rare expensive but i just want to know if they're here it's more of a i'll come by you later <laughs> i see where even heard of I, I am aware of them, yes. Uh, Lorelei uh, had them. Yes, that's right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I see why they're so ex mm. Oh my, that was Eldritch? Uh-huh. I know. Mm. It's a would be so nice. My I don't have these force reports. Oh my god. I am going to say... They do not, unfortunately. Okay. A 13 right. on a D30. I... No, no, that's fine. I'll check back after the tournament. Maybe <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes, we'll see. Uh, okay, can I sell um, this, the focus circlet? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Ow. Uh, it's an uncommon. One second. So it's not tons of money, but. No. Does Narcoshan need anything? We need uh, to nope. have everybody equipped. No. Uh, she actually does have attunement slots filled. Oh, okay. okay. Good. All right. Um, so, uh, the focus circlet. Let's see. What, uh, what tier of item is that? It's uncommon. Uncommon? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, a wondrous uncommon requires attunement by a spellcaster. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. Well, you want um, to give it to I'll say else? for sale value, you'll get 100 gold for it. Oh, shit. Uncommon, unfortunately, is, is not. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, well, hold on to it. Maybe we'll meet some random Especially person. in Bardust. Oh, yeah, that's fair. But that's to fair. the magic shop, dude, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I will. If we need 100 gold, we can pawn it off. I do admit, <laughs> I'm look, looking at the, the list of items. You guys have actually been... We Not keeping as many like extraneous stuff as I, I thought. I thought you guys had so much more, but you gave away uh, a bunch of stuff, or um, gave it mm -hmm. to like NPCs, or you gave like uh, Cariel the the, the um, 
anvil and stuff like that. So. I think we keep the spirit cleaver for maybe an offering to mm -hmm. what's her face. Because Paizane told us that they had a boat with treasure to, as an offering to the Oh, to the Lady of the Sea. Yeah. Mm. So maybe we okay. hold on to it, and if we still don't do that, then we come say, back. I was gonna say that is the that is the obvious like payday in your pocket. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think Cariel uh, appraised, appraised it at two hundred and fifty or something. Yeah. Two hundred, two hundred thousand. Which I have it was, at the bottom. Of the it was price. some absurd. Hundred twenty-five. Hundred twenty-five. Hundred twenty-five thousand gold pieces. Yeah. Why, why would we do an offering? I don't know if we need one, but in case we do, for Lady of the Sea. Mm -hmm. Remember, Paisen told us him and his people were also pirates. Cute. Also, we don't want anyone to have this during the tournament. No. <laughs> okay, Skier. Yeah, we don't want that. That is a good gear. point, no. actually. Skier's place. Could you, could you imagine, yeah. like, you sell it, and then they go, thank you, and they put it on, like, a display stand at, like, half price, and somebody comes and... up and goes, thank you. I can't wait to be champion. It just walks away. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Beer walks in like, yeah, I'm just gonna. This yeah. is mine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's probably <a> rogue. <laughs> anyway, so. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, back to home base for now. Uh, before we get robbed. Can I? Oh, no, one more. This is probably the best market in town to try and procure oh, it. Boy. Um. Yes. For some of the future glass arrowheads I got. Uh, poisons! Poisons! Mmm, poisons. Poisons! Poisons, Cusco. Um, poisons for Cusco. <laughs> Cusco's poison. <laughs> poisons chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's, Cusco's <laughs> poison. I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh. Um, Ow. Poisons, 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 poisons. Uh... Weirdly, there's not as much as you'd expect. Hmm. Uh, if you make it known to the party you're looking for poisons, Narkushan and Paizane would both inform you that it is seen typically as cowardly to rely on toxins uh. in the arena. Uh. But it's not forbidden. Mm. So there are shops in Bardest for poisons, but it is considered like... There's no skill in poisoning someone. You just hit them once, and then the poison kills them for you. There's no honor in that. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Rat poison. To these people, at least. A rat poison? <laughs> poison within a 10-mile radius of these shops. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say the one type of poison you can find in some shops is wyvern poison. Because of the the Drake hold, um, mm -hmm. it's dragoons. That's a powerful poison. Yes, <gasps> it is. Uh, it is an. It is a one-time save for seven d six poison damage. Yeah. Uh, that would be twelve hundred gold of vial. And there are not Ooh. many vials for sale. Uh, eh, later. Okay. Later, if it'll be there. I later. think I am good. I have oh some my uh, God. arrows to craft. Um, I'm looking at some Rat King crown. I bet the guy has that. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> um, to save time, I might retroactively ask the party for crafting mm -hmm. materials for my okay. regular other arrows, but otherwise, mm -hmm. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just to Alrighty. save time on shop. Mm -hmm. We get a big old drumstick for our Noel driver. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, sure. I'm going to change the music Definitely up. Get it's been a lot of the same for, for a while. <laughs> I don't know. That might be assuming. Maybe he's a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it in these lands. Yeah. He's vegan. Uh, you guys come back to your cart with your big haunch of meat for the, the driver. Um, you see that he's, he seems to have, like, pulled up a cloak, potentially to, like, keep the rats away <laughs> as he's sitting there. Um, and uh, mm. the, the cart's otherwise, like, uh, the, the carriage has, like, the door open for you guys. Um, 
as you approach, uh, you don't see him turned to 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 greet you. He just sits, oh, no. has the hood up. Is he dead? Uh, <laughs> you go to check on him. Yes. Uh, as you you like put a hand on his shoulder, um, the shoulder is a little bit wobbly, and as the head turns to you, it's a cluster of rats in a cloak. Oh, in the shape Lord. of your Noel friend, and they seem to be like climbing over each other yeah, in no. almost like a Rat King style. Oh, and there's a couple of them actually like grabbing onto the reins, like they're actually holding on to the reins. Uh, they see the 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 haunch of meat, and two of them reach out and just sort of absorb it into the oh, mass of rats. It. I just throw it just, and run just, away. <laughs> it's just a, a cloak with a moving, writhing pile of rats <gasps> and a lot of squeaking. Uh, you, you hear no. from the carriage. Sorry about that. I was hoping we could have a conversation. Uh, oh Where's God. our driver? <laughs> He's taking a break. Oh, Why didn't we talk? Is it a permanent break? You see, like, there's like a moment of <laughs> I silence. Yeah. It was. I didn't order them to kill him, so I don't think so, but... Uh, I'll well. I'll check on that. And you see three rats scurry out from the carriage. Oh my God. down away. We don't see the figure speak. Uh first. no, it it's yeah. because it is a it is a closed Damn. carriage space okay. and uh the doors open but somewhere from within you hear the voice. Wait, as you're as you as you're kind of like waiting, you see Pisines are like already like reaching for a weapon. Yeah. And you see like, a hand reaches what? out from behind the door is like looks like a large furred claw that kind of like beckons. Ooh. I don't bite. That's disgusting. I have <laughs> Alright. What do you want to talk about? A business proposition. I saw you and your companions spending a hefty amount of coin in my bazaar. You're welcome. Yes, I suppose thank you would be an order. <laughs> <laughs> I also noticed this carriage, and you just like the hand pats the side. Fine gift from Caprillo. Wouldn't say would... gift. Yes, I suppose he doesn't give a lot. He's probably expecting something from you. I mean, it seems like everyone in this town does, but... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. That is the way of it. I detest the sunlight. I was hoping we could speak in the carriage, but if you'd like to talk through the wall, that's fine, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, it no, is just a little unsettling. <laughs> you know, we were keeping our driver, and now... He had a problem with me. I would have been fine with him staying. But he took offense to the rats. You see a couple more scurry out of the carriage. Oh my god. Oh. See, like, two, two scurry into the carriage. And you hear, Good news, he's alive! <laughs> oh, all right. Hey. Well, that is good. He's very uncomfortable and very angry, but alive. Oh. Great, we're going to tip him extra. That's <sighs> his tip. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well... <laughs> Fine, that's our okay. nature okay. as well. Well, uh, I begrudgingly and what reluctantly. Oh, it? uh, it's like midday, like noon at this point. So, like mm. he, this, the mm -hmm. normal claim sun's where he always is, and then, and then the actual sun is like directly overhead. Ugh. Ew. Well, as uh, long as we that's... have appointments to keep in the later hours so as long as I won't take too much of your time I just wanted to discuss opportunities so great, great. We are we're gonna do that right here though yep uh, we'll step closer yeah we'll step closer. I, don't, I don't want his rat drivers <laughs> taking us away into the streets <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust it uh, mm. as you, you step closer you can kind of see into the cart from where you are uh, he has, like, the curtains drawn on the windows. Keep it as, like, dark as he can. But you mm -hmm. do see what looks like a large hunched-over rat wearing, mm -hmm. like, like a, a, like a, um, a tunic and a cap of some sort. 
He has two large teeth made of gold off the front. <laughs> oh. And he has what looks like, like a little a little pair of spectacles just bounced on his nose. Oh my god, he's so ugly cute. <laughs> ugly cute. Wait, did he send a picture? Uh, a hand a hand no, I haven't I haven't sent that yet. A hand oh. reaches out of the cart, long and spindly and furry. Skir Karakar at your service. Charmed. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I was I couldn't help but notice a team has been registered under Caprillo's name suddenly for the mm. tournament tomorrow. Also mm. the tournament's tomorrow suddenly. Dragon Brick doesn't like to give us a lot of time. I like to consider myself a man of the people. I think I know what's happening here, and you've been drawn in by his big promises. I just wanted to say, there are other options. You don't have to get in bed with the devil if you don't need to. I'm sure perhaps I can't offer the lavish perks like gesturing to the carriage. <laughs> but he can, but perhaps we could come to an arrangement instead and what would you propose well i would know what he's paying you first so i could make a counter offer but i would have you fight under my banner instead Tarzan. <laughs> see paisan's like listen i don't trust caprillo <laughs> but i've also never trusted the rat fuck here <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like so, now that's really offensive but I also don't blame you. I mean, you did try to your rest and try to rob us a couple times already. That's, kind of it, That's the tax. The cheese tax. The cheese thought, tax? I thought... Cheese tax. That... <laughs> <laughs> that was unintentional, I promise. What is the cheese tax? No, don't you dare, don't you dare. I don't... We get a cut of the cheese with every purchase. <laughs> yeah. When oh, the money that's... comes out, you've got to pay the cheese tax. <laughs> <laughs> Damn <I'm sorry>. it. <laughs> I was like, rat, cheese tax, tax. Good a deal. <laughs> Good a deal. <laughs> got mm. <laughs> If we're looking for information, we're looking for a crew and protection from Alice mm -hmm. Tirith. Alastair. Uh, protection from Alastair. That's. Uh, see, like, he, like nibbles Very at something. It's a difficult one. Yeah. He and I don't really get along. Mm -hmm. He doesn't approve of my um, abilities. Mm. But. Uh, Alright. I can work on that. Brew, you say? Ship crew? Yes. I could do that. Yes. Does it have to be a human or dragonborn or anything? Does it have to be like a humanoid crew? It would preferably not be rats, but I think that is what That's you are problem. offering. <laughs> <It's a problem. laughs> okay, okay. The very skilled rats. Mm. I know, I can tell. <laughs> I have not heard good things with rats and boats. Just, to, you know. Mm. See, he considers it. It's a historical thing, man. Okay, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> I can just buy a crew, I suppose. Whatever. I have money. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Okay, okay. Information, what information? I have a network. Of rats. <laughs> You'd be surprised what rats can find out. People let their guard down around rats. I they don't think that. much. No. They don't know. They don't know. We're always listening, always watching. How far is your uh, span of uh, influence? <laughs> That's for me to know. Okay, well, yeah, I guess you don't want our help, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> All of the city, at least. Oh, okay. I even have a few in places they're not supposed to be, but that's our little secret. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> what surprise people in this, the government actually not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Well, I'm afraid that government? our interests fall outside of the city, so I don't think your information would be... It would be very useful, don't get me wrong, but just not mm. exactly what we're looking for. 
You've been taken in by that fat fuck's promises, I can tell. <laughs> well, unless you are saying you do have information from outside the city and possibly the continent. I can get information. I just need a bit more direction. What are you looking for? Trying to I'm find gonna, someone? I'm gonna, uh, whisper, not whisper, but, um... Message cantrip? What's, what, what's my message thing to? It's not the parry, it, is it? It's to me. It's to you. you. Oh, I, I think, no, unless Pison got his back. Oh, Pison does have his back. Hmm. Then you have, then you have a, uh, the stone, not the earring. You, got one you, have, you have a sending stone to Pizane as well. Mm. It's you went a stone to Pizane. And I think Peria stone. has a earring that's uh, connected Boy. to nobody right now. Yeah. So you could give that to someone, like Narkushan or something. Okay, never mind that I, I wanted to whisper or something. Or you could somehow get it to Vivian. <laughs> but yeah. It's fine, never mind. <laughs> Thought I had one to parry it. No, mine are, mine's Mira. So you All probably right. can talk to Mira, though. I'm sure well, you guys. Oh, with our Sorry, but we're twin speak. Already set, we're already I'm, I'm gonna, set I'm gonna talk, as... I'll talk twin speak to my sister then. Hmm. And I'll just be like, maybe as information on... Um, Kedrick? He seems skeevy enough to know Kedrick. Oh, that is a good idea. <laughs> that we've heard of. Oh. Hmm. We, could. Well, we know uh, Kedrick went to the Isles. Yeah, we already that. know that. We know that. Okay. Maybe yes, more but info. he could have mm. different information. Mm. That's mm. the only thing I can think of. Hmm. As we're just like... I just said... Jubitaba? Maybe you are the wheel. Go Mormons. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that language, and that's very weird because I know a lot of languages. That one's, that one's a new one. They do that all the time. Uh, I, talk, right. I talk to myself sometimes too. <laughs> I imagine. Yes. Do you have any information on Kedrick? Kedrick, Kedrick, Kedrick. Do you know anything more specific? Sorry, that's just that's just a name. Hopefully, people name. have names. There could be like a thousand Kedricks here for all we know. Hmm. Species, rank, role, uh, uh, not, birth not, sign. Not Eric. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenku. 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 See, like you see him go to like a little rat next to him, and you see three rats dart off. Give me a moment. All right. It is very interesting. Thank you. It's like speak with animals, but speak it is. But it's like specific hmm. rats. Are you a druid? Do you have a connection to them? Mm. Not really. Uh. Um, I don't really cast it, spells. Uh, I see. It's all it just sort like, of up here. It, 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 like he's a rat person, of course. Well, you can talk yes, but that is racist. You, I do not like to assume. She's like <laughs> just. <you. laughs> Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> I do not assume that Pizen can talk to real lions. <laughs> what do you mean real lions? I mean an animal lion. I am. Okay. All right. All right. Fair. Yeah. No, I. I don't know. Can you? Can you? <laughs> yeah. Can you? Can you, well, can you talk to monkeys? I don't know. <laughs> I don't try it, actually. Me either. Let's find some lions and monkeys. Hmm. <laughs> Let's find some bears, why? You know? yeah. And kind of, Mira. We have a twin lot. speak, so we speak like our yeah. own uh, After language. a moment or two, uh, you see, he kind of perks up. The hive has found something. Yes, yes. A Kedrick bird did come through here some years ago. Yes, I remember. I remember now. Yes. He was a thief. A thief. Mm. A thief in the bazaar. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right. We chased him out. He went to Caprillo. Uh, Caprillo didn't dead. seem to like him either. Hmm. Uh, seems like that's sort of that one's reputation, I think. Yes, he is very seems unliked. Seems not yeah, unlikable. Mm. He was looking for something. Something. He's like, <laughs> he was looking for immortality. <laughs> and do we have an offer for him? <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> yes, 
Yes, he was very, uh, oh, that's perfect. He's advanced at this age. Oh, their kind don't live long. Yes, he was well, afraid of dying. Well, well you and he share a similar thing, then. Not very liked. Oh, now, that's not <laughs> that, is, that is rude. It's true, though. <laughs> I am rude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. All right, well, I can see negotiations are falling through here. But if you... We will consider your offer. If we don't like Caprillo as much as we thought we would, we'll come talk to you. Well, if still alive by then, I'll be looking forward to it. But uh, just, just so you know, hmm. there has never been a single unified team Caprillo has held for a long time that hasn't been mysteriously murdered or exiled or something of the like. We're not planning for it to be a long time anyway. Neither is he. I assure you of that. Okay. Whereas I, I make lasting connections. I don't have many friends. <laughs> Very important to me. <laughs> you make valid arguments. I'm losing it. I'll have the, the, the rats bring your driver back. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Preferably oh. in one piece. Oh, dear. A bit too mangy to be eaten, really. <laughs> oh. Several bats. Even for rats. That's <laughs> saying something, by the way. Oh. Ah. I, I really like this guy, genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> Medea's like disgusting, but okay. Becky's like, yeah, that's, I like this that's guy. That's true. Alas, Sirif. That's a problem. Mm. Yes. I don't even think Caprilo can help you with that. If you've somehow made an enemy of him, you're better going to the Claim yeah. Chieftain. You've better luck there. Yeah. That man, that thing, it's a force of nature. Mm. Older than most of us. Mm. Hatred for our kind. Those who believe in magic. Something. Well, I guess we'll just have to kill him again if he shows up. Yeah. Again? Again. Oh, now I want you even more. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't like rats? Because I have an abundance of rats. And if you liked rats, I've got you there. Uh, let me put it in this way. I have not liked rats ever since I was forced to bite one's head off of a, a few months back. All right, we're oh. done talking. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> See, he reaches and closes right. the carriage door oh, shut. This is our carriage. Oh uh, <laughs> you hear the door on the other, the other side, side of the carriage open, <laughs> and you see just a flood of rats. Oh. <laughs> and then one big one, and you see running off into the shadow of an alley. Two feet or four feet? There we go. Two feet. Four feet. Like scampering. Scampering Scampering. off. But you do see long coat tails and like boots and and like and like and uh, and breeches. So So it's like he should be an anthropomorphic like person, but he still runs like an actual rat. Okay. Uh Okay. Good. Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then then, then, you hear what the fuck it? Get the hell off! Ah! As he's dumped by a pile of rats, your knoll at the base of the, the carriage, and they'll just scatter off. Sorry, I'll get him money. He stands up. He's gonna need it. What the fuck was it? Where was I? I have no idea. <laughs> Let's get Everything out was of. Everything dark, furry, and squeaking. Let's get <laughs> out of here. It's probably a really bad dream. You felt you nodded off a little. <laughs> you gonna finish that? It looks kind of like the bone that's been like gnawed on. He's like. S- snaps it off. It is yours Damn. now. Oh, nope. Oh, it is yours now. He just, he just gets into the, the driver's seat. Like, all right. Uh, what's all these? What's all these pellets? Uh, yeah. Opening the door. Press this and taste the inside of the car. Yeah. <laughs> 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 deep clean the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I am flip, so I, glad. I, I fling the guy a gold <laughs> out of my stuff because I feel really bad. I don't he'll know how, it. yeah, how that- He'll take it, he'll look at it, and go, You're all right. It's not so much, <laughs> but there you go. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I Our love him. 
Yes. I, I want to team yes. up with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's funny. Uh, all right. Regrets. Oh, man, if we back out of Grillo now. Oh, yeah. That's a terrible idea. So, mm-hmm. where, uh, where would die. you guys want to go now? I'm good to go back. back. Yeah, I'm not okay. going to We have our six. Me? Do a quick stop at the Chronicler's Guild House. Oh yeah, morning. that sounds like fun. Sure. Very quick though. Very we have quick time quick. frames. Oh, uh, I know. Very. Uh, quick. I have to ask one question. As you guys are on your way back, as you're mm. reaching uh, about near the Colosseum, oh, uh, you guys note the clean sun uh, that's over the Colosseum. Everything flares with a sudden light, just like for one moment. Oh yeah. And uh, then you all hear you hear a lot of the people around you all stop, like like all the emotion, and even the cart stops, and they all just kind of look up. And you all hear the sound of a booming female voice echoing out as if the sun itself was a speaker. Yeah. My people of clan claimed. Word has come to me of a tournament held by the claimers of this city. It was to be a simple affair, but I have been told certain participants will be joining. The last claim keeper alive and loyal Pising, former champion of the Colosseum, will be joined by a unique team that I know many of you have heard of by now. As such, Great. it has interested me. Oh, good. And so I invoke the promise of glory. Any who fight tomorrow will know they fight in my presence. To the winner of this tournament, I will grant one desire. Anything within my power. A war! (laughs) Yes, the war! (laughs) (laughs) And to the one... The individual who brings me the head of Pizane, <gasps> I will grant a place by my side as claim keeper henceforth. <gasps> what? As such, once the tournament begins, all combatants will be sequestered within the Colosseum until the tournament is complete. Hmm. May you prove yourselves worthy of my attention. Did we do the wrong thing again? And find yep. glory. How do we keep doing this? We're good at it. Shoot, this is another chance for Paizane to prove his worth placing. You see, yes. see Paizane goes, I fucking knew it. It can't be but that. But wait, easy. that means we get There's more no... tokens. I know that's what I was going to say. More tokens. That... Wait a minute, doesn't that mean... Anytime, like, people yes. could just be trying to kill him well, now? No, that is why she said we will be sequestered <gasps> within the Colosseum. Once the tournament begins, I think maybe we should spend the night at the Colosseum. Mm. Uh, should we not go back to Caprillo? Uh, you see, Paizane hops out of the carriage where uh, at where Colosseum. you guys are at, and is like, I'll see you guys in the morning, and he runs to the Colosseum. I see. Oh. He is safer Shit. there. Medea, go, go. Yeah, we'll. Uh, as you guys, as as the cart begins moving again, uh, it, it starts to slowly pick up. Um, Narkashan, uh, seems like a perk up for a moment. I have just been granted permission to accompany you all in the tournament. Huh. Yeah, we jump out now. Uh, Medea, if you. I'm gonna push. We Medea. all should go. 
I'm pushing Medea to go with Bai Zane. You're not pushing me nowhere. Then, uh, then we need a, a roll. Contested strength check. Oh boy, this will be good. With my heavy armor. With my heavy armor. Uh, yep. Here we go. It's really, athletics versus your acro. Oh, uh, my acrobatics. Oh, not straight. Yeah. Not straight. So. What is it? Shove essentially. So you're so you're athletics. athletics versus acro. Okay. So I'm doing acro. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> ah, I see. Mira, you go to push, and she just like spins around My and just like smacks your hand away. What the hell are you doing? Go with Paisane. We all should go with Paisane. Okay, if that's the case. Well, we need to send word to Capullo to not make him angry. We can, we can tell. I'll send him you a see message. The, the driver turns around. What do you need me to tell the boss? Oh yeah, well, he's here. We're staying in the arena for tonight. All right. Narkushan's on the team. We have a team of six now. Uh, who's yes. Narkushan? <laughs> She's Good like, word. all right, thank you. And she just <laughs> gets off. All right. Just, just tell Narkushan's on the team. Narkushan. The Chronicles right. will have to wait, Peria. Narkushan is on the team. Got it. Uh, and Narkushan. It's I can Colonel Fading. It. It's Colonel Fading. You will go and write it down for him. No, <laughs> See, he it. looks at it and he goes, You yeah. think I can read? <laughs> no, but I bet the pillow can do this to him. <laughs> you got me there. He it would be freaking it. hilarious if you couldn't. <laughs> <grabs it. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> He's still got like half the bone jutting out of his mouth as he just yeah, pulls away. Oh man, I was really looking forward to those silk sheets. That's fine. Yes, me too. <laughs> well, it is probably... If we are a party, we need to stay together. We're a party, yes. yes. Let's go. We're, the, we're Pisane's renegades after all. Yes, yeah. let's go catch up. Okay, so the party does not have Paisen go off his own. As you guys are no. uh, running up, you see him. He's kind of like moving quickly and like trying to keep away from crowds. Uh, and he like sees you guys. Okay, cool, cool. I, I feel a little bit better knowing you guys are here. <laughs> uh, I, I can get us rooms. <laughs> sure, I, I, I can get us a room here. So it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be nice, but. Uh, Trust me, I've at had least one. we will be safe. In here? Yes, I, I, I'm positive we will be. The Colosseum is the closest you're going to find to a church. People come here and consider it sacred. <sighs> I knew she wasn't done with me. Phil, mm. your head, geez, Lou. I wasn't expecting that. Well... Because she knows I can't die. <laughs> huh? Huh? Buddy. I've. I explained the oh, whole. He explained oh, the whole. Right. Thing I'm you. sorry. You guys know yes. everything. Yeah. Right. You guys know about, you guys um, know about the void rage yes. stuff. He void doesn't have his aura, okay. uh, so you know he can't really die. He can. He can. It just you have to burn time. through all of his memories, basically, or his mental stats at this point, mm. which means he would eventually hit pretty dumb levels before. <laughs> <laughs> She's just using this as a way to push people to test us. But well, this does mean the tournament's going to be big. And it's going to be harder. Promise of we Glory have means... more potions. <laughs> more tokens. Yeah, 40. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's How true, actually. Who's ready? <laughs> I was him scanning his card at the arena. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Clock in time! That's clock in, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Good hey, old man. <laughs> Good old bunk. All right, yeah. uh, you guys uh, find uh, the arena is much larger. Like, I, I tried to make it look to scale as best I could, but it is mm. enormous. Uh, there is an interior space that rings around the central Colosseum that has its own individual smaller arenas that are used to uh, settle cl uh, claim disputes, to train. Um, there is a section of the arena of the Colosseum that is. Uh, warded off that Pisin immediately moves to and it's a uh, pit fighter um, housing. Mm. Essentially this is where some people are born, raised, and die living in the Colosseum. Pisin was one of those for a long time. 
uh, and you feel like if Paizane weren't here or even Narkushan, you guys would never be allowed past that door. But uh, th nobody even seems to question as Paizane pushes through and guides you guys to a spare room. Mm -hmm. um, and as you guys settle in, it's very sparse, very Spartan. Uh, it has a table and chair, a bed, and uh, like a small slitted window. Like it's mm -hmm. one of the external rooms at the Coliseum. We um we might need a few more beds. <laughs> so we are the six people in the room. Mm -hmm. Narkashan's mm -hmm. like, I'll go and speak with someone. Maybe we can get our since we're going to be sequestered in the Coliseum for the tournament anyways, they're going to have to provide us housing. So I will see if maybe we can just get first dips. <laughs> Good idea. I hope you all bought everything you need. And Pretty much. she will uh, go out. And... Uh, but yes, you guys are left uh, to do whatever you'd like to do with your remaining day <laughs> in the Coliseum uh, mm. housing. Well, mm. this is a bit, um, you know, away from the music. Um, I okay. want to send a message. Okay. To Carl. Carl? Okay. <laughs> Cariel. The uh, Elkin, ancient Elkin blacksmith, Elkin Carl. Blacksmith. Yes. Yeah. Um, hello. So, what have you been able to do with the cold fire anvil we left? It has been... Uh, like three months now and you asked for one just curious um is it... i'm assuming peria is with you we've had this conversation already um i managed to make a decent profit off of it whenever you're back in town i'd be happy to share the proceeds I forgot. <laughs> no, I don't think you knew. I mean, it, it, it Perry may not have told you. Yes. I don't know, but I would have shared. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. whatever. This conversation happened on the boat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't. Okay. Um. No problem. Uh, it's reasonable that Mira forgot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three um, months ago. It's been three yeah. months. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Gonna get a sleep before it starts tomorrow. So. Yes, you guys will get a full rest before the tournament starts. It will start in the morning. Uh, but since you guys have chosen to go to the Coliseum straight away, mm -hmm. you may not have the opportunity to do anything else until the tournament begins at this point. All right, All right I have three Dragon Ante. Who wants to play? Uh, I need to. It's a card uh, or dice game? It, I think it's a dice game. <laughs> I need to I work on. I need to it's work on some, some arrows. Uh, pardon okay. me. Um, so you guys take I, some time. I don't think I wrote it down. It's probably in your notes. The herbicide. <laughs> oh God, the Valertine herbicide. What Herb. damage it uh, does to? I'm gonna look through my notes and see if I have it. Um. Megan oh might have it too. I have a Dane. Blooming. Looking for my location notes. Good lord. This was a while ago. It, it was a while. It was uh like episode 72. I think it, 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 I think it does a blight. I think if I remember correctly, it's a concentrated yeah. blight spell. Mm. For on, plants, on specifically. On, on, on nature on. items. I so, want to do that. if I recall correctly, it would be the effect of blight, on okay. which is eight d eight necrotic to a plant. Um, uh, which, if it's a plant creature or magical plant, they make the save with disadvantage, and it deals max damage. What's the save DC since it's coming from not me? Unless I said before, I'll make it your DC. I guess. Uh, are we which doing means it? Could get better over time. Are we doing it like the? Normal arrows, which is my dex for the mod. Whatever your casting stat my that casting you do for your stat. spell save okay. DC. Okay. Yes. It is still a con save as per blight, okay. but it's Cause... your save DC. Okay, because the, the custom arrows we have using my dex, because they're more martial, right. and sure. some error, some 
other things in this case because DC. it's it's a liquid spell basically It'll i will my... say it's essentially your spell dc okay all right um okay and mind. someone please write that down <laughs> i've said it now out I loud will, I'm, I'm putting it in my okay, arrows good. now because i'm gonna use um some i'm gonna use the uh yeah we're not gonna get out to buy shit maybe i mean nothing says you guys can't leave true Hi Zane has to stay in this room until the Coliseum, the, the, the tournament starts. Yeah. But since you guys chose to go with him, you're stuck with him until, you know. I'm gonna We're make, okay I'm gonna use three of the glass arrowheads sure. to make anti -plant. So as, as you got, as you begin to craft your arrows, uh, Mira, uh, Medea pulls out a card game, our dice mm -hmm. game. Um, anyone else doing anything in particular? Um, are there like people that run messages? Oh, there's there's that? people that work in the Coliseum. Yes, there's people you could you could get to do that. Um, I guess I'll take a piece of parchment, write to Caprillo, asking for if you could send any information he has on combatants' number of rounds per day that he said. Oh, okay, he was give right, us right. Yes, yes, when yes. We return to the manor. We'll be okay. sorry. We can't return. Yeah. And gotcha. I will Announcement. Go ahead and Write it in that cool ink pen that um, Medea gave me. The Yay. emerald pen, emerald which pen. I believe cool. acts as the one. Oh, fudge! What was the name of that pen? Except for the emerald pen, requires no ink to write. You cast illusory, illusory skip script, script at will. Script. Yes, that's that's awesome. One. So I'll make sure only he can read it, so that way, if it gets into the wrong hands or it never gets delivered. That is wow. good thinking. Good job. Uh, uh, oh yeah. And I'll give the person uh, a gold. Bring it uh, here back. Funny thing, uh, as like, like you see, like this is um, it looks like a like a young orc male uh, with like ragged tunic. Uh, as you hand him the gold, you see he looks like confused. Just kind of like shakes his head. Can't use hands it back to you. Oh, okay. One moment. I will pull out some rations. I'll give him some rations. You give him food, and his food. eyes his eyes go like... If you come back you. with the response, I'll give you some water, too. He takes off like a bolt. <laughs> <laughs> See, Pisian's like, you're what? already learning. What? What was that? Can't... People in the Coliseum can't, uh... Well, like, pit fighters don't need money. In right, fact, we're not really we allowed money. Oh. Hmm. Wow. I. F food and water is really that valuable. I told you, a, a token buys food for a week, but only if you win. Right. Some people run out of luck. Some mm. people get injured, sick. Have to take a week or two off. Fights take a lot out of us. It wasn't. Medea's, uh... Medea's like almost like visibly trying to hold back tears, <laughs> but uh, oh, oh, okay. A lot of us would uh, band together, form little, you know, groups, communities. I had oh. my dad. Um, for a while. Mm. Helped. That guy probably doesn't have much, so you have no idea how much you just probably made his day. No. It's tough. Whatever rations I have, I'll be giving to anybody <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's, well, that's a hard life. Some people choose it. It's, um, Some people don't. I guess it so just like, makes me feel like I had it really good and I walked out on it. I, I don't know your situation that well, really, but... It puts things in perspective. Yeah, I, I get that. As she wipes away a tear a little bit. <laughs> Okay. All right. Second round. I know I lost this one. See, like, 
he takes a second and like put like as you're like grabbing like the dice he like puts a hand on top of yours when i'm in charge here shit like this won't allow it i'm gonna make changes i promise i know you will and i heard that you guys went and met your parents and i wasn't there I'd like oh, to, I'd yeah. like to do that sometime. <laughs> uh, I'd like oh, to... you, you want to meet Med Medea's our mom? Y mm -hmm. yeah, well, I mean, Medea, it just, yeah. <laughs> you know, after I went here and was, you know, in the, I was literally here for like months, and you guys were off doing, you know, cool, you know, like desert adventures and like, you know, I mean, this place there, there was like a temple or something. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I just, I felt like I missed out on a lot. And it, then I heard that you went and saw your folks and I wasn't there. And I just, I'm trying to say is I'd like to see where you came from since you've seen where I come from. I mean, that's kind of similar, but not really. The climate. We're kind of similar, <laughs> but not really. Mm. <laughs> you two are compatible. What, what do you mean by that? I just give a smile. You just... Okay. Ah, oh, net 20! <laughs> <laughs> oh. and uh, I beat you again. I beat I you, will... yes, finally. Um, I have... With that, she's gonna use this ability, and she's mm -hmm. just gonna keep watch. Okay, so oh, what sword do you uh what, what sword do you possess? Wind Razor. God. Okay. So the sword of Soren gave you flips out of the sheath and just floats in midair. Yep. Uh, as per a flying sword, Ooh. essentially. It lasts for an hour. Nobody's getting the round eyes for, for one hour. Oh. We're safe. Take we can just rest. relax. Yeah. <laughs> Take a short rest. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll also take the time to attune to the necklace that was given to me. Uh, okay. Well, we haven't, we haven't had a short rest too. to attune. Right, yes, yes, that's true, that's true. Sorry, Q, I can't really get you anything until we're out of here and we have more tokens. <laughs> it's but I will get you something! Don't it's gonna be great. have to. I'm going to. Besides, the thing I gave you isn't really functional anyways. Who cares? It's beautiful. <laughs> yes, and it looks great on me. Do you see? She measures very good. <laughs> I, I admit it does look good on you. I need art now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to know what this thing is. Now we need... Now we need to get an official updated Medea art now that she has mm. Wind and Whirl and this beautiful choker. This is calling for it. You know what? We should get maybe maybe we should get another group picture for the Coliseum. That'd be pretty cool. Mm. We'll as long as we don't die. As long as nobody Anyways, dies. We'll discuss that later. <laughs> if you want to yeah. give me something, Medea, yeah. I've always thought like there's feather accessories people wear in their hair sometimes look kind of cool. Feather? Yeah, how they kind of like hang down from your hair. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Interesting. Paisy oh, like speaks up. I always liked the blood you got on your your apron. It's very fashionable and it strikes fear to the hearts of our enemies. It's, really it's very yeah. functional. I've got that a lot here. Yeah, I knew you would. The moment <laughs> I was like, yeah, Q's going to Barda, she's going to be popular. Even though she has a baby face, she has a... I think that almost aura. adds to it. Like, yeah. it's it's disarming and then terrifying at the same time. She just has an aura that could destroy your face, you really know? Does. You know like... Art painting? Mm -hmm. Zuma herself said she doesn't usually like children, but she likes me. That's pretty big. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Uh, uh, after a little bit, uh, you hear a little knock at the door, uh, and the servant is the guy is back. Oh, the guy! Uh, uh, and he he kind of like he has his head down. And he kind of like is glancing to the side, and uh, he steps aside as a portly dragonborn. Oh, wow! Well. <clears throat> Come the whole way here. Stands in the doorway, cane in hand. Well, 
I'm assuming we all heard the announcement mm -hmm. that explains why you're here early. Mm -hmm. Suppose we should probably discuss things moving forward. This is the best news I could have ever hoped for. With this, oh, the stakes are going to be higher than ever. Like high stakes. Yes, yes, high stakes, high rewards. I can tell you, in the brief period of time since the announcement, <clears throat> let me pull up. Arena Intel. Arena Intel. Yes, I will actually be. We have confirmed Intel. it is going to be a 64 team bracket Whoa. tournament. 64 Ooh. teams? Yes. Cool. It will be uh, four days of combat. Two battles each day. Okay. That's not too a bad. A morning and an afternoon fight. So you'll have time for a short rest between fights. Uh, the first three days will be determining the winner of the tournament, and the fourth day will be against the champion as a championship match. Mm. Regardless of whether or not you win the championship match, you still get the pot for the tournament if you win the third day. The fourth day is just to determine the new champion of the arena. Mm -hmm. And could, of course, now that there is the promise of glory, that could earn this coveted offer from the claim chieftain. I should tell you, this has not happened in a very long time. So. Give him hell. <laughs> We're already here and ready. <laughs> We're already planning on it. So how does the fourth day work since it's Abraxas is the single champion? Does he have I a don't... champion team? or? I don't know, really. Uh, that's okay. been kept very closely under wraps. I believe the claim chieftain may be fronting him some support from the Fane. Fudge. Mm. Ah. Well, we gotta feed our own. Yes, I've heard that you have been um, welcomed aboard, uh, Narkushan. Um, and she's like returning from acquiring like uh, better rooms. Like, ah, yes, Clayma Caprello, it is so good to see you. I have uh, confirmed we do have private chambers uh, apart from the pit fighters. So, um,. Whenever you guys are ready, I can take you there. But uh, I see we have company. <laughs> <clears throat> now then, um, as far as payment goes, things may change a, a small bit with the payout. Since it is now a, a grander mm. tournament, mm. the stakes may go up. I would like to know... See, he's trying to choose his words very carefully because it sounds like you guys have already come into an agreement and it, he's... It, you feel like he's trying to modify the agreement without overstepping, perhaps? If you were to forfeit some of the monetary gain to me as your sponsor, I would be willing to provide more information and outside assistance with your endeavors. How much has the pot gone up? Um. <laughs> See, he like, he's like, picks at a claw. A fair bit. <laughs> well, what is a fair bit? 600,000 gold pieces. <laughs> I think they're very popular. <laughs> Inside check on the six six hundred thousand. Yeah. Inside check. I'm yes. just gonna believe it at this point. <laughs> I feel like he's shorting it. I, uh, I maybe not. think that my Zane's worth more than that. But <laughs> uh. hard to tell. Okay. Yeah, well. 
Yes. Then that means that <laughs> the amount of information he's willing to give us is going to be adequate then. Right? To that. Well, the thing is, we don't really need more information not than really. what we've already asked about. Not, not really. Well, I couldn't help but notice you need a crew, which means you need to go to the Kranis Isle, so there must be something there I could help with. Perhaps... Something the warmongers could assist with? An escort, perhaps? Mm. I do have several ships of my own. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, if we can beat the champion here, I'm not really worried about anything they've got going on over there. I don't really... I think a crew is enough, an escort while appreciated. I think we would be fine. I think we just need the crew. Would want maybe another audience with secret her claim chiefness. I can make that happen. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep the well, original agreement. Hold on. Because um, if we win. If Paizane wins, and no one takes his head, it would stand to reason he would get one thing he wishes. Or the uh, announcement. The, the, annou the announcement was actually the winner of the tournament gets one thing oh, they want. The, winner. the person who brings pa pa uh, her Paizane's head becomes a claim keeper. Gotcha. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Two separate yeah. rewards. Gotcha. My bad. Let me rephrase that. Sure. It would stand to reason if we win, we could have an audience anyways. Per what she said. You see, like, Narcoshan mm -hmm. leans against the doorway? It sounds to me like the big bad claimer <laughs> is realizing he's about to lose out on quite the payday if it's divided six ways. The Capriolo just, like, gives her a side eye. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, giving her a side eye. <laughs> the Fane is always known for its remarkable insights. Yes, I suppose I am balking a bit at the concept of such a reward going to waste. I am not I saying waste. we don't... It would be unfair of us to try and take it all. I merely think we should have time to talk amongst ourselves so that we can think of something fair. See, um, Narkashan... I'm glad I'm here for this. I wasn't around the first time. You didn't have a member of the Fane officiating this agreement, did you? <laughs> you see, and she like looks in and you guys, uh -oh. we don't have contracts or paper here. Mm. We do have blood pacts. Mm. And you see, she reaches into her robe and pulls out a thin dagger in the shape of like a dragon's talon. You're all right, she's a lawyer. <laughs> Let's hash it out right now, shall we? Claim a Caprillo, in the name of the Fane, how much is the winnings of this tournament? <laughs> you see, he like, he takes a moment of like, am I important enough to, to contest the Eternal Fane, or... <laughs> 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 Based on the fact the claim chieftain will be watching, the high stakes, the large number. I don't have an exact figure, but the wagers have already climaxed over a million. <laughs> she goes, I see. Yeah. And even you, with all of your wealth, can't part with a paltry sum. In fact, I... I'm surprised you care this much about a few coins. Half. Since they're putting in all the work. Mm. See, he looks... Quarter. Since you can't even do this without my support. The amount I've already invested into all of you. You can she... have my portion if you can just procure an item for me. He looks curious. What item? I'll try to draw it. Or I'll minor illusion it, because I can do that. 
It's an arcane think? item. Uh, the illusionist bracers. They're an hmm. arcane variety. They do this thing that looks I... like that. <laughs> blah, blah. Hill, uh, you see he pulls out a bit of parchment and starts making notes. Very well. I will add to the list of demands. And Peria has kind of kicked it off here. Yeah. This is where the negotiations can open now. Mm. Is there anything else you guys would like to add on to your demands from... Uh... You want an escort, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. Mm. Um... You guys get to keep the shit that he gave you. Yes, I mean, it is a nice. good point. It is nice. I would like to keep the bottle. That is a very valuable amulet. The and a very valuable armor, and a very valuable cloak. Well, you're gonna have that cloak, and that one just like it's just a little less. Mm -hmm. Just give him the little less one back. <laughs> <laughs> He's not making a total deficit. <laughs> I will let you all keep your loaned equipment. I will look into those bracers. So, is he, Narkashan steps in? No, 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 no. You will find those bracers okay. to the best of your ability. <laughs> so the best you. of your ability. And she like, she like gestures with the knife and like gestures with one hand to him. And how much of the coin do you want to take? I will not do half. <sighs> she looks to you guys. 100,000 agreeable? Yes. Well, for me, I'm good with it. He said no. 10% for... of, the, of the pay cut in addition to a, pleth a plethora of magical items. He said no to half. Quarter, he wasn't happy. No, he offered quarter. Oh, he offered yeah. quarter. But now it's changed because you've added on he's Duh. losing these magic items. Yeah. Okay. Very expensive. Which are very expensive. Uh, yeah. I... She would prefer the gold or the cloak. <laughs> well, yeah, he can take the cloak back. That's not the point, but... It's the amulet of health and the warding yeah. armor and stuff. Yeah. Right? And the illusionist bracers. Yes. <laughs> the bracers. Yes. That's a, that's I mean, a multi what's... tens of thousands on its own yeah. right there. My my warding armor, doesn't that does that increase my AC by one or uh the warding it's armor? Heavy. It is heavy, so it's it counts, I think, as plate mail, just base. Mm -hmm. But uh let me just check the warding I think that's, armor. So my Griffin's saddlebag, I don't yeah. think so, but I it depends on what Mike my wants AC. to make it. Yeah. No, not... it does not. It does not have a plus one variant. It just as rare. Mm -hmm. All bludgeoning, piercing, and uh, slashing from non-magical, mm -hmm. you take non -magical. three less damage. But the yeah. very rare version he got also includes magical. Yes, but I only got rare. It. I only got rare. Oh, that's correct. Yes. So you could try to argue for an upsell to very rare. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It does. It does. We're not going to fight does. just monsters with non-magical yeah. stuff. Yeah, you think the people we're fighting aren't going to have magical <laughs> things hitting you? I mean, like, could he even do that? My sister's armor, there is a rarer version, is there not? I am aware. It's very expensive. Perhaps instead of the extra gold, you sponsor her success a little bit more and trade that out. So Narkashan is like, and you see like Narkashan is very carefully saying everything out loud, like in mm -hmm. repeating. So in place of compensation in the form of gold, you will procure and provide the rarest form of this particular enchantment Permit them to keep what you have loaned and locate to the best of your ability as a claimer of Bardest, the Illusionist Bracers. You will also provide the information you have found and are trying to find 
regarding the location of the celestial beast that gets the quaddle. Do you like a Steve for confirmation? Mm -hmm. Procure a crew, a seaworthy crew, and protect them from a Lasterith to the best of your ability. Do you so swear? See, he like looks you up and down, hooks like all of you up and down. I should have known from the moment I took you all in, you were snakes. Puts his hand out to Narkashan, and she drags it down his hand. He winces, and you see a bright red scar appear. The pact is sealed. And she takes the blood from the blade, dips it into a vial, tucks it away. I will file that with the Eternal Fane. If you break your promise, we will know. So did that include the hundred thousand? No, you said no, instead said of the no. money. Instead yeah. of the money. You said instead of yep. the extra I... money. Yeah. You literally yeah. said instead yep. of the extra money. I said yeah. instead of her right. money. Very oh, rare warding armor is worth like thirty thousand in itself, oh, plus we the amulet a... of health. You're getting a hundred thousand worth Dude, of okay. items. I'm I'm cool with items. <laughs> so, Medea, for items. the sake of uh, uh, he will proc procure it before the tournament begins. Oh wow! You now have yeah. the very rare warding okay. armor, which is which how much reduction? Four damage four. reduction That's from it's not all slashing, and piercing, magical. and bludgeoning damage. It's like, it's, it's magical. As magical as well. Yes. So yes. it doesn't increase your AC, which is fine because you, you already have bonk. But it makes you. It I think you have a little less AC if your current armor is enchanted in any way. It might go down Different by one. Plate armor plus one. Then yes, you'll lose one AC. So your AC will drop by one, but all piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning damage you take reduced by four. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, I really like that. It's really yeah. useful that against enemies that attack plus, like multiple times. Yes. Yeah. I mean, plus the serpent plate armor, it's not good in bright light anyway. No, so it would be terrible in the arena. <laughs> yeah. Terrible in the arena. Oh. Hey, there we I go. Still have, we got, I still have, we have serpent plate. We'll sell that. We can always sell the dagger <laughs> yeah. to Cariel. Yeah. You yes, know, you for, have we're means good. of yeah. making money. We're good. Um, yeah. We're fine. But, as long as nobody steals our shit. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, whether or not it was a misspoke agreement, unfortunately, yeah. it has oh, well. been sealed oh. now. Well, well, you know what? We'll also be earning these tokens to get cool shit, too. Exa that's yeah. also true. You will be receiving currency of sorts. Uh, and I like items. Win. And if you win, you get a request of the claim chieftain, More which shit. is oh. pretty big. Uh, this is, this is a big deal altogether <laughs> anyways. I think that's the war. The yes, war. Don't forget the I war. Know. I said the war at the end. As, Someone else uh, needs to do the talking. Yeah. <laughs> as you guys are on your way to your as you guys are on your way to your new bedrooms, uh Peria, you receive a message from Lord Dior. Oh wait. What's up, Before that happens, can I pour can I the young orc man who brought the message? Yeah. Can I can he can, oh, do you have a cantina? Do you have a jug? A bucket, anything that I can give you a bunch of water. Uh, yeah, he has like a canteen. He has, he has like a, a, a water skin. Okay. Um, alchemist jug. Alchemist jug. Um, fresh water, and I'll, I'm like, don't freak out. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Press the digitation, make it cool. And it's, and your canteen's clean now. Yeah. yeah clean. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Thanks. So nice, Perry. He goes off with his pocket full of rations and a cool water skin. And then you get a message from Lord Dior. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Hello, Perry. I have heard from Toloko that there are negotiations in effort to uh, end the war, and I wanted to know if there was any update at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, we are very eager here to be able to tell our troops they can come home to their families. And to uh, stop all the funding Aww. for the, 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 the war effort, it would be a massive relief on our, our forces, <laughs> our budget, our time, and our well-being. Uh, the work that you are doing with the, the Vanguard is 
the gods work, and <laughs> we are eternally grateful. It's four messages yes. worth of yes. stuff. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. dying inside. Mm-hmm. No one else in the group has to hear all this nope. bullshit. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Lord, your negotiations will like, continue and we'll have an update in four days. Excellent. I look forward to your report. <laughs> And that's it. That's it. Beautiful. Little does he know, but I mean, <laughs> little does he nice know just how much everything is on our shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heavy sweat win. now. Yep, we have to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Renati, or Dior is getting ready. Like we need to, we need to ready up a celebration in four days. <laughs> 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 the end yeah. of the war. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, God. Don't count your chickens, right. Dior. I know. Uh, we gotta win. You yeah, have really to. Have to fucking win. <laughs> this campaign's gonna be over if we don't uh, win. We need to win. Well, we will wrap here uh, yeah. with you guys arriving in your uh, modest accommodations. There's probably two beds per room. Uh, they are kept. Uh, away from the rest of, of the, uh, the the pit fighters. Um, mm. uh, you guys are the first ones here, so you have the choice. You have the best like choice of the rooms because you're here the night before. Um, We're awesome. <laughs> and we'll pick up next session with you guys awakening in the morning from your long rest, ready for a new day Yay. and the beginning <laughs> of the tournament for glory. <gasps> Super day oh, isn't too glory. bad. Well, everything's fine. Mm. Yeah. Six wins, guys. Or seven yes. wins, really. Seven wins. Yes, it's it's technically seven wins, because it's uh like 64 down to 32, down to 16, that's three fights. Mm-hmm. Down to eight is four. Eight. Down to four is five. Yeah, down to two teams mm. is the six. Then the winner of that would typically be like the champion, but then the seventh fight is against the current reigning champion to determine who the new one is. You only need to win six to stop the six war. Six fights. Correct. You only need to win six to win the tournament. The okay. seventh is just to determine the new champion. Okay. We can do this. So, we can do six wins. We can do six wins. But I want an airship, so, so we gotta win seven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. Give us that airship. That way we don't have to trust Caprill and all his bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a thing. My god. Uh, I will also say uh, seven difficult battles back to back. The party can expect to reach level 13 by the end of the tournament. I will say oh, that yeah. in advance. Yay. This is this is a heavy combat focused period of sessions. Uh however long it takes to do it you can plan ahead by the end of the tournament you guys will reach level 13 i know it feels like you just hit 12 but it makes Bardest sense. is going to be a heavy combat dense chapter of this well, game yeah, the yeah. first game really, we you... right, we were attacked by a sun dragon yes yeah. <laughs> one of the flavors and a super elemental <laughs> yes and then yeah. the second day you made a deal with a dragon guy talked to a rat man <laughs> did a bunch of shopping and uh, it's really about it it's just kind of a... <laughs> anything his uh yeah bardas is exciting <laughs> i got That's invaluable yeah. arrows and materials to make more arrows so much you're utility. a happy oh, happy the happiest <laughs> and we got so many greater healing potions Oh my so God. many, so we many. Split we those will divide out. those out next time, mm-hmm. uh, or or you can do it during the week and just determine <laughs> who gets what. Um, but yes, uh, we will we will pick up. Oh, we <sighs> we had the conversation with Vivian. That was yeah. something too. That was a good yeah. session. It's a good session. Good session. Good All right, session. guys. Bye-bye. I will look forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. You're very Thank welcome. You. Bye. 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 Bye, Chad. Bye, everybody.
go ahead and figure out who to raid. Uh, let's see. Who to who? As I still do in her subathon, she will be for this oh, entire. Oh really? Yeah, she will be for this entire month. Um, nice. Because like up front, somebody destroyed her goal immediately, plus everything. Yeah, else. I know. You told so me she that. She has. Like, That's cool. She has over 300 hours of streaming to do this month, oh my which God. basically means between her and then the Yume, which is her man. I don't know if they're husband. I don't. I don't know if they're mm -hmm. married yet. Um. But he does, you may take over, which means sometimes he's playing stuff. So it's a That's good way, cool. it's a good way to split it out between two people. Yeah, so, so it's not, not just, tired. Yeah. just a lot of streaming. Yeah. But she deserves it. So we're going to go ahead and send yeah. the raid over. Um, fun tournament arc. Lots tournament of combat. Arc. Fuck yeah. Yay. I got to make a bunch of stuff. Hi, Mira. Um, there's no in-person D&D tomorrow, so I'm free to play stuff tomorrow, Mira. Yeah, tournament arc. Weird. Never heard of that before. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh. See you later. Not so far In the end It doesn't even matter I had to fall it's too late to make that food. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> <laughs>